your cage day. Right, it's his cage day. Oh. Yours. <laughs> 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 yeah. He got. He wore his. He wore his cage uh, day sneaks. His, his sneak is glittery. <laughs> to match the disco <laughs> ball in there. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> when the light hit. <laughs> <laughs> it matches gloves. <laughs> same, 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 same material for the show. It's, it's recording right now. <laughs> you gotta put. You gotta put your your foot on the table so everybody can see you. Yeah, I ain't got this shit, pussy. Yeah. <laughs> We re- I ain't know we were recording. I wouldn't have been talking like that. I'd have been cussing y'all niggas the fuck out. Like, <laughs> Them jaws definitely match your gloves, though. Yeah, hey, man. Your bitch ass, <laughs> you like it? You like it. <laughs> yeah. If it bring you tips, man, that's all that matters. <laughs> Whatever, Eric. Can you open that there? Oh, no. I'd probably be noisy if you open up the window. Once I start to drinking. Let's take your jacket off, bro. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 it's fucking rocket science. Bitch ass up. How are how are engineers the dumbest nigga in the room? I've been beefing with sticks since he came back from Arizona. <laughs> wow, I should have let it. I should have let it die. This nigga sitting here talking about yeah, it's hot here, nigga. He didn't know damn well liquor is a coat. I should have let that. Then he got another jacket on. Two weeks ago. That's what I should have did. That's cool. You'd have still been a hot dickhead right now. And you would have been a drowning dickhead That's though. Cool. <laughs> Sticks die yeah. in the pool, yeah. Arizona. Yeah. You 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 would have died in the pool in the desert. That's like the, the, <laughs> the stupidest <laughs> shit ever. <laughs> I should have let you die when that white man had you drunk in the airport. <laughs> I don't know, man. You might you should have left me I alone. Fucking you might, might be, be rich, rich right there. <laughs> No. Feek might be a rich housewife. It's his fucking dream. House husband. <laughs> nah, you definitely a bottom. Oh my whoa, God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. I mean, oh, man. This is, oh, this wow, is, man. um, this is the All in 14 podcast <laughs> recorded from NGTV Studio. This is, uh, episode 29. This is Nas clocking this in. Yo, it's Feek clocking in. Yo, know, this sticks, fuck feet, but I'm still fine. Right <laughs> <laughs> Actually, fuck Nas too. <laughs> See what happens in the season. The bros, they the, the alignment shift. Let me clock in, man. This shit is clocking up. Yeah. Yeah. You, you yeah. show up for the week. You show up finally. <laughs> yeah. You want to clock yeah, in. Dog. Niggas. Lane clock in, bro. This <laughs> Lane clock in, yo. <laughs> this nigga should. Yeah, yeah, we'll make sure he get all his minutes. I just want to start it off with, um. <laughs> you know, cage day. Fuck feet and fuck stick. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all killed me. I heard the last five. Bro. 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 I, I tell everybody what the fuck I got to do. I had, <laughs> it ain't what you got to do, it's what you like to do. do. I had nothing was, to do with that, Sean. It was a prosperous day. Yeah, that's cool. All right, was it fiscally pleasing is what I want to know. Fiscally, it huh? Just, it was just a prosperous day, man. So you didn't make no money? Yes. All right, so why it, was I was fis- it was fiscally pleasing. I know what fiscal means. Why, you right, trying, well, why, you, why are you trying to ask that man how much money he made? Because I want to know if I need to switch days. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, so my chill, goodness, man. man. What's up with you, Shiz? How was your week? Chilling. Same shit. Same mm. shit, different day? Yeah. How, was, how, was, how was the week before that? Because you wasn't here. That was... No, yeah, I'm saying week. The, your week that just passed because you, you you missed two. two yeah, hours, you missed two uh, weeks. That's all I'm just saying. Damn, they all the same fucking week. Man. <laughs> right, shit. Cool, shit. Fuck okay. your weeks. Man. So you got weeks that's the same week. Let it go, feet. Let it go, feet. It's too much for you to fucking butterfly effect this nigga. Nigga walking back in weeks and shit. Sorry, bro. Sticks. How was your week, bro? How was Um, it was okay. I guess I don't know. I lived at work. It's my first time home from work since Monday. I'm tired, but I'm here, you know, pushing through. You're going back in the cage tonight, right? Correct. Right. Okay. Correct. Okay. Yeah, they on some slavery shit at, at, <laughs> at the club. I'm tired, though. This cage life is wild. Right? I need some new fingers with the gloves cut off. I mean, gloves with the fingers. You see, I'm fingers all, I'm, what? I'm all yeah, discombobulated. Oh, Let's go ahead. 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 You a wild boy. My week was cool, <laughs> man. Same, fits. same shit every day. I ain't really had nothing crazy going on yet this week. You sure? It's only Thursday, so. You sure? Yeah, got like three more days to see if I make it. All right, whatever. Yeah, cool. My week, same, man. I, uh, actually, my schedule about to change. I'm going back to overnight. Oh, welcome to my world, bro. This is it's going to be a long one. I ain't do overnights in about like a year, so I got to get used to it. But I'll be all right. Get back to yeah, it. Get you. back to it. Lindsay, what's up with you, bro? My, my week, cool, man. You know, just prepping for this live show. 
trying to get everything in order. Nigga ain't been trying outfits on for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, what's that? Like, do we got to, like, throw some shit on? Can I just put a dicky on? And do whatever the fuck you can do. You whatever you want. Want. I'm just saying because it's gonna be a lot of photo ops. Like everybody gonna take pictures with it the office. Be you, right, you it wouldn't be you nah, if you didn't have a dicky you on. You know what? All jokes aside, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. Like, <laughs> all right. <laughs> nigga got the most. He got the most drip of 2020. Right. This is my first. This is my first show. I, 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 you know what I'm saying? I, do I get the tuxedo it's out the stash? That's your first show, Eric. Stop this is my first live podcast show. All right. There you go. All right. Okay. She said we had a few shows. Wild bitch. <laughs> Fam, <laughs> my fault, yo. I'm, uh, you know, what's up? How's everybody doing? How's, how's? Listen, all the listeners, how are you? I'm gonna give you a second. Go. All right, never mind. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> right, get, to, get to the topics. Fuck that. Oh man, oh man, oh man. So we was um in other news. Um, the uh, black people on social media was uh, arguing about Birkin bags. Them about niggas. what's what's a Birkin bag? But I I thought about it and I was like, that is like a niggerish um, topic to be arguing about. Correct. Most Why topics are, are on, on the internet. But I don't. What, what I'm thinking is like, what's what's your take? Or I'm pretty sure y'all seen the shit about the Birkin shit. Yeah, man. It's just it's at the end of the day, it's like it's some shit in people lanes, and it's some shit that's not in people lanes. It's like that don't make you a bad person because you can't afford one. Then some people who can afford them don't feel like they worth it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Even with the style connoisseurs and all that shit, they'll tell you, like, to them, that bag is corny. Right. Then they come, they start with 10000 The Crocodile Jones is 30 and up. Mayweather got $100,000 Jones and matching boots and shit. <laughs> that shit's for them. <laughs> I'm cool. Lives, like, yeah, I'm cool. Lives. If you like it, you like it. I can't say nothing about it. Listen, they only, <coughs> they only make 12,000 bags a year. That's it. I don't believe half these celebrities' bags are real. Mm. Well, my honest opinion, I don't. Okay. And you can't even buy. It's only a certain amount you're allowed to buy a year. So it's all bullshit. So I real, don't give a fuck. So real shit though. What was the, what was the actual debate though? It so, started. Nah, because she said like if he not buying you a Jamaica? Birkin or some Yo. shit like that. No, it's Yo. it started. Yeah, it started with two things. It started with two things. Um, it's so, like sweetie. Yeah, she said something about it, and then. Party. It's like a new little celebrity couple. The boy, I don't know what he do, but he bought the girl like a Birkin and, and presented it in the club or something like that. I don't really and know then, that name. And then uh, Offset had uh, Bur- uh, Cardi one. Yeah, she said something and like then, if he uh, don't buy Mayweather, you Mayweather daughter had commented like uh, uh, it's something about his sit, all these Birkin bags. I don't think something real, something yeah. in, along those lines or something like that. I mean, she would know because she go to she go with Mayweather to the source. So, I mean. That was the joint when, when I, I don't know if y'all seen it, but Cardi posted like her closet with all the bags. And yeah. all it was like, I bought like. Damn, I bought 15 them of them or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's your lady and your millionaire. <coughs> what you supposed to do, buy her shit? I don't even know why people so concerned with another yeah. person's life. Like, who gives a fuck? Saying, Listen, if I had Birkin money, I still wouldn't buy a bitch of Birkin. Even if so. they shit was fake. Fuck it. <laughs> that too. Niggas wear fake sneakers Chad all the Johnson time. Chad Johnson talk about that shit all the time. He, he always wear like, fake jewelry. jewelry. I mean fake jewelry. Yeah, he said all oh, my shit fake. Yeah, uh-huh. we, it's, 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 a nigga, it's a nigga in Philly, a comedian, who talk about fake jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> He'll let you know it's shit fake. So, I just, <laughs> it's a certain <laughs> shit, man. Ocho, Ocho <laughs> made a point, though. I I'm, mean... He I wouldn't rich, buy, like, I wouldn't buy the jewelry because I'm like he like well I buy fake jewelry but he's just like why everybody know I'm rich like yeah. I don't need I don't need the shit I just feel like no you, you should never get to a point where you gotta like fake it till you make it rich or poor like yeah. it's cool to just not do certain shit just, I'd rather you not buy fake jewelry being a millionaire and just don't rock jewelry at all you know what I'm saying because like listen, what's the point like you see I got an Apple Watch Rolly right because yeah can't afford a Rolly I'm poor. Man, mm. that's cool. I'm putting out a GoFundMe for Rolex. So, but rappers need it. They got to keep up with that persona. They, I need yeah. Cartier yeah, that's, that's all it is, though. It's, it's, def- it's definitely the image that goes along with with all that, with the Birkin bags and the jewelry yeah, and the cars and all that shit. So, I mean, it, it's 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 a it's really like a, a genius plan though, because you will give a celebrity the bag for free. And you got a couple girls who probably got they they you know they got their careers and shit in order, but. That's a, that's still a financial hit for them to buy that same bag that you walking around with that didn't cost you nothing. But it's a genius game plan because they know somebody's gonna go out there and scrape up to get whatever. 
Like you said, watches. Niggas love just being able to do the same shit that a rapper or a ball player could do because some of that shit really not that far off limits. Mm -hmm. Do we need to go to a club and spend $100,000? No, we didn't win a fucking championship. Mm -hmm. But some niggas want to do some competitive shit like that. Tomorrow, do the, will they feel like they're fucking retarded for throwing up a hundred thousand? Yes, the, yes. The, the old me, I used to do that all the time. Yeah, man, <laughs> go get gum. This nigga pull out thirty three hundred. Like, nigga, it's just gum. Like, I changed now. Thank God. You know, I don't carry cash anymore. <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, that. A lot of times, um, <clears throat> I had a uh, had a discussion with somebody, and I was telling them basically, <clears throat> a lot of times when you go to the club and you do those things, a lot, of, a lot of not not saying us or I'm just saying, like, people do it to impress other men instead of doing it to get women. Right. You know, you get what I'm saying? No, I like, like, to go out and buy the bar out or buy jewelry. Like, they want to be in compete, uh, competition with another man. When that's not, if you're if you doing it, you do it, for, do it for women. If that's what you don't, do it to impress another man or do it because you like it. At the I was end about of the to say, day. Yeah, do it because you, you really fucking right. like this But shit. a lot of, a lot of right. times, a lot of niggas go in competition with other men. Which, which is, to me, is like, uh, it's, you know, female you tendencies. That let you know how, like, just how bad it is. Well, right now, the clubs is dead here. But remember, like, with Jeezy or, like, like Tip would come here. Like, niggas is beating the door down to get, to get in the club sexy. before girls are. Because mm-hmm. they want to, but they want to bump shoulders with snowman. Like, yo, what's up, bro? You, like, nah, man, they, they said They said when uh, Meek had that joint down, um, what was that, Nodo? The mm-hmm. niggas was knocking over chicks to get in the section just to get just no, to, no. So I'm Fuck dead that. serious. Remember dead when serious. uh <laughs> when uh what's the ball for VH1 Stevie Stevie uh, Stevie J Stevie J came to uh what's the joint uptown the club up there it started with an M. Like mezzanine? Right there, the mezzanine. The mezzanine. Mm-hmm. He was at the mezzanine. He said niggas was climbing over niggas mm-hmm. in the mezzanine to like climbing over Stevie girls J. and shit to get to Stevie J. Like. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, filthy. Yeah, but you know why? You because niggas really be feeling like a, a photo with a celebrity means a lot. Like, I, I mean, it, we all like celebrities for certain reasons or certain athletes. But it's like, if fucking Tom Brady or LeBron walk past, what you what you really expect besides a yo, what's up? Like, what you you think you gonna sit down and talk to the nigga for twenty minutes? <laughs> <laughs> well, motherfuckers just be wanting the photos so they can post them and be like, well, me and Big Homie working, working. on something. Yeah, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> You're you told him you had fucking. You told him you had an illness, and he stopped to give you a picture because he he felt sorry for you the whole time. You put a whole different caption up. It's just super weird. Like, but you know, at the same time, what, what good is an autograph anymore? Autographs more digital now. Like, if you you got to show me that you really was with the nigga that day, I don't know what that scribble scrabble is. <laughs> That's yeah. why they want to pick. You're right. <laughs> the pick. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, yeah, dog. This the day he signed these sneaks, bro. Like real shit. I ain't took them all since. So you not. You're not going to tell that? Never mind. You already tried to do it. Oh, yeah, we ain't. He, yeah, he already tried to do it. Mm-hmm. You're going to say LeBron and the I Live story. I wasn't going to say LeBron and Live. I wasn't. What, what you was going to say? say? I knew when he tried to get Brian Pumper autograph. <laughs> no, this nigga just <laughs> <laughs> pulled out of pocket. Uh, we get into it. <laughs> Brian we, Pumper. We was out in New York. We was on the train coming from the fight. And Brian Pumper <laughs> yeah, was fuck out of here. on the A train. <laughs> <laughs> Feek was like, oh shit, it's B Pump. <laughs> he nicknamed him. Yeah, he was like, it's B Pump. I ain't Pump, never. Pump, I'm like, yo, relax. I'm not dog. ever walking up to no porn star. Like. You walked up to Brian Pumper, dog. <laughs> you lucky I don't got that phone no more with that footage. Yeah, I bet. Oh shit, big bro, you cracked the egg on the bitch head. Exactly. He was like, do me, do me. <laughs> wow. Anyway. Yeah, yo, that's, so that's he's filthy. filthy yeah. Anyway. <laughs> So, like, when niggas doing weird shit, right, y'all ever had a guy ask a girl that you talked to, like, yo, did you used to talk to him? Like, like ask, ask the girl about us <laughs> talking? Yeah. Feek, feek, I like that happens, stories. Yeah, like that, that happens all the time. <laughs> but, but you know what? That That's just social media. Like, me and girls could go, I go back and forth with the same girls every day on social media. It don't even be flirtatious. We just laugh at the same shit all day. Mm-hmm. But if you go into somebody's pictures and you, like, pursuing that girl and then it's like, Oh damn, they go back and forth a lot. That they just automatically alarm to that means that me and that person might be messing around. But I I hear people act shit like that all the time. At the end of the day, if I ain't somebody close to you, it shouldn't matter either way. You know what I'm saying? I ain't nobody in your squad or nothing like that. So she could easily tell you the truth and be like, Yeah, I messed around with him, or she could just lie and tell you no. So see, it's 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 two things. One, I don't I don't like anybody questioning anybody. I would never question somebody, do you talk to somebody or nothing like that? That's fucking weird. Like all you gotta do is make your energy great, even if she right. is talking to somebody, right. it's gonna eventually I mean, or it's gonna become like, obsolete. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So why are you worried about that? And then like and just one more thing, I know this is off topic, but I hate when niggas try to friend you so you don't fuck their bitch. 
which is kind of yeah. weird. To make it look like y'all cool. Yeah, yeah. like well, you know, like niggas be like, oh, like, oh, you know him? Right. Oh, oh, that's my homie. I'm cool. And like, no, we're not cool, nigga. You be with somebody I know, and that's <laughs> right. it. Yeah, and that happens a lot too, especially even even just when we be out. Like we, you know, like you know, we are squad, like we family. But it's like it's people that you'll speak to that might be friends of somebody that you know that ain't really y'all ain't deep like that. Exactly. But it's like. Then when the girls come around or you in like an intimate setting or something like that, then you could just peep like the tension in the air. It's like, come on, man. Or yeah. if you take a picture with somebody and it's just mm-hmm. like, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, y'all fucking? It's like, no, <laughs> man, you took a picture. Like, you know what I'm saying? Another thing is even <clears throat> showing love and like reposting like a female, somebody you cool with business. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like, you, it's like women to ask you or <clears throat> a guy probably will ask their that female like, damn, you fucking him or some shit like that? Like, if you repost that, that female business, oh, that, right. that female absolutely. boutique, absolutely. you know what I mean? Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Just showing them love. And it don't it don't cost you nothing to show somebody love or it don't mean that you fucking them because you're showing them love on Instagram. I mean, like, I do it on Twitter all the time. Like, somebody posts on, I just retweet, I re, uh, retweet it. Like, it don't hurt. Like I'm a fan of everybody. Like, and I'm not going to take it down. Like, yeah. It's I'm, social media. Yeah. I'm a fan of everybody excelling at whatever you're doing. I repost people all day. People repost me all day. Even like just even the little sh- the simple like TV shit. Like my man Aaron, he do the TVs. Like he'll if somebody if he see a post and somebody asking to hang TVs and he might not be he might be busy. He'll add me under the drone or right. vice versa. It's like it's too much money out here to just be weird yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, you go in the you go in the supermarket out. You there's more than just two loaves of bread that you could buy. Like two mm-hmm. brands. Like you know what I'm saying? Dog, I talk. I was talking to somebody last night about um, doing a podcast. Like, bro, just because I got a podcast don't mean I would not encourage you to do one. It's fucking podcast. For I listen everybody. to it's a enough out here for everybody. Mm-hmm. Whatever you do, so. like nigga, you having a podcast ain't still in our stream. So just, right, oh. as, everybody even if even shit. if you have a fan and that fan listens to us, that doesn't mean we taking your fan. They sharing it. Niggas just don't watch Family Matters and cut the fucking TV off. <laughs> right, right. right. Like, you know like, something else coming on after that. Else. Like, <laughs> like well, niggas is dumb, man. But whatever. Yeah. But no, that's just that's that's people insecurities and people um people just be threatened by, by yes by shit. by you right they they definitely do but I mean shit that you know like look at you can reference this to basketball look at Jordan when he was getting beat up he could have could have stopped playing could have gave up that nigga hit the gym and came back and was scorching nigga so mm-hmm. if you intimidated. Hit the gym and scorches. Other than that, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, started talking yeah, heavy. <laughs> yeah, he, he, in, he in the gym. He clearly in the gym bulking up. That's all oh, yeah, you yeah, to say. Sure, he ready sure. for a fucking, uh, a, for sure. a fucking yeah, that's karate that's match. Cool. But also, a karate to, match. To, 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 like I feel. to get back on that on that bag shit, that little topic. I think what we do do sometimes is like we automatically deem like just because we black, we not supposed to like certain shit Lux- luxurious yeah things. and that's not cool like you know what i'm saying like just because you black don't mean certain shit just out of your league from the rip like it don't matter how you came up like but if certain shit so people save up and have the coolest hobbies as they get older you thought we had games and shit when we were kids it's car clubs it's people who like they travel they do whatever they want with their money so it's like if you in that lane and you really start liking that kind of shit, but you can and you can afford it, do it. Then never stop. Like, give the fuck. Honestly, whatever people do with their money is their business. Like, so wait, but we, we back to the no, no. He was no. Just I just back was, I wanted it. to say that before yeah, we went somewhere else, but we off the bag topic. No, yeah, he would just he would just. No, he would I, know, just I just want because I, I say I definitely got some weird ass hobbies. I think everybody does. Yeah, but that's as you grow. like. Think about like, how old you are. You just became. You got into plants and shit. Yeah, then you got so. other people in plants. Shit, dope. Like right. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that shit. Yeah, ain't nothing. Ain't nothing wrong with picking up new hobbies because <coughs> it gives you something to do. Nah, but take you, your take your mind off other shit and and the focus on that. As Humans you, get I, boring. Nah, but as you grow, like you grow out of doing the same things. You know what I mean? Yes. You don't want to do the same things you was doing at one point in time. So you got to find new things. And then as you get older, you you granted, I think at all points of life you should be looking for a peace of mind, but you don't really start gravitating towards it until you get a little older. Mm. So when you get older, like you start to look for peaceful things. Like for me, that's why I like fishing. I like golf, I like my plants, you know, shit like that because it's peaceful. I don't, you don't, you can do all of that, and that's a mostly a quiet zone. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And arguing with feet is not quiet, <laughs> but I like that too. There's another thing, like when you, like when you, like now that you're old enough, like you really can save up your money, the whole the money that you want to buy something. Like let's take a rollie. You might want ten. You know what I'm saying? You save up your whole ten grand, and when you get the ten grand, you're like, yo, I don't even want the rollie. Exactly. Yeah, like, like, it's like you know, it's pointless. <laughs> Like, I just... <laughs> That's why me and I talk rolly. about cars all the time. I me and Nas be like... I want the rolly. 
we talk about cars all the time. It's like, yo, bro, putting money down on a car is the worst. Yeah, it is. Take me to the credit union, but I ain't got to put down <laughs> shit. Nothing at because all. you could save up all that bread, and it's like you felt like that was my goal. Like, damn, I'm about to get this whatever year, whatever, whatever. Then, like, the next day, it's like your bank account is gone. <laughs> you got the car outside, but it's like I didn't buy the car cash, so I still got fucking 48 months to so pay for me, this bitch. Let like, me get this money from the credit union yeah, and go ahead and yeah, uh, go write me score. This, yeah, go, go give me this fucking uh, this blank check and take your money every two weeks before I even see my own money, and I'm, I can never be late on the payment. It's a genius idea. Yes. Genius and at, idea. And at the same time, building your credit up. You know, you know niggas get uh, financially irresponsible because... <laughs> No, let me tell you, the shit is like this. You get a new whip. You get a new whip in the summer. You now you got places that you want to be. You want to go. Now you got you got to get more haircuts because you're not in your <laughs> you're not in your starving mode to get the, right. the the fucking save up money. Now you buying new clothes and shit's like, damn. You said the note was due when? <laughs> <laughs> like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> now you done bagged a new check. Now yeah, you, you, like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like it becomes a it becomes a thing. Like, now you done bought a new whip. Now you try to fly her out. You're like, yeah, I'm going to come get you. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing. It is something. Like, <laughs> then you so fly her out. A whole gotta, lot of something. You fly her out, then you got to get another lemon out of town. Got to rent the Toro out of town. It just becomes a whole thing. It becomes a whole thing. So how you think niggas feel when they go in the club, they throw a hundred, and then the niggas like, y'all niggas. And you know who really the troublemakers in clubs? We've been everywhere in the world with clubs. It be the fucking DJ. The DJ be like, yeah, them poor ass niggas only throwing 5,000 while my balling niggas over here throwing 30. What's up? All the chicks go over to the right side where the niggas are throwing 30. Listen, when we was in Houston, <laughs> Len, Len can contest this. This nigga sticks feet every time. Listen, I'm not, it's not even that. When we was in Houston, we was going ape shit with the bottles. The DJ, I thought the DJ was going to get us robbed. The nigga just keep coming over to uh, the, 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 the speakers like, oh, them Philly niggas in here showing y'all the fuck up. They done spent 10000 in here. Everybody looking around at it. I'm like, oh, man, this shit about to go left. <laughs> yeah, it's about to be all kind of slabs outside up. waiting on y'all <laughs> niggas. <laughs> Full <laughs> foes and fucking AKs and shit. You know, pop the, the trunk on you. Swerving. <laughs> right. <laughs> nigga swerving. <laughs> nigga <laughs> robbing <laughs> me high on lean. Like, you nigga, what? <laughs> Falling asleep. <laughs> yeah, that, they, 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 the, uh, they the troublemakers, man. But, I mean, sure. you shouldn't go to the club if you ain't coming correct, but. No, us coming correct is not no thirty thousand dollar correct. Like, I'm not. I mean, no, thirty thousand in the club is this, fucking. No, this the thing though. This the thing. If you think about it this way, it's five of us. Not to cut you off. That could be twenty five. Twenty five thousand. Where I'm are we not, going to live? That I'm saying, why would we all spend five thousand a piece? No, I, I was I was watching um, um, uninterrupted. They had like a, on a website. It was uh, they was talking to athletes and celebrities about. Um, financial decisions that they made. Mm -hmm. And uh, they asked Draymond Green, when he first got his money, what was like something he did that he felt that, like dumb about? And he said, I'm not gonna lie, I spent $20,000 in the club. <clears throat> and after I did it, I was like, damn, I'm an asshole. Yes. Why the fuck would I spend $20,000 mm -hmm. in the club? And d d just pointing to what you said, like even he's rich right. and he felt like an asshole spending twenty thousand dollars in the club. Like, but see, that was like, a rookie contract. Now he could drop seventy. But he still, but even <laughs> even make, he had a million. Make like though. a buck seventy. Like I, I could see, like, like I get it for like drug dealers and shit. Like you live in a fast life, you don't know how long it's gonna last. You just want to fuck some money. You want to live luxurious, cool. But. Thirty thousand in the club is fucking it's outrageous. Excessive. Very excessive. Like, so since we on the topic, is buying a bottle in the club? Pointless? No, no, it's no. The reason why you buy a bottle in the club, honestly, not even for the girl attention or anything like that, it's to save you from st standing at the bar or going back from the dance floor to the bar every two seconds. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But if you, you get to the club at 12, 30, 1 o'clock and close at 2, right. you can't you sit at the bar all night. You got to just go. Like, but the, the thing is, it... it and in the long run, it saves you money anyway. Right. Yeah, because if we do five shots, shots a piece. Yeah, we, yeah, you, yeah, we <laughs> right. do five shots a piece. It's just, it's just pointless. Yo, I'll never forget we was in a club, right? It, we was in Miami and shit. It was me, Nas. It was, it, was a, it was a big group of us. I had my pot with me. So Nas was like, fuck it, I'm going to get the first round. So Nas get the first round. It's like six shots. The girl said like like one something, almost 200. Niggas like, can you just give us a bottle, bottle? menu? <laughs> like, <laughs> like it was, it was pointless. If six like, of us got to do that shit six times, yeah, we could just buy five bottle. bottles. But that's how it was cameo. Yeah. It was cameo. Like, yeah, it was cameo. Right. Yeah, it was that, cameo. That's my motto. Like, for one, I don't feel like running back and forth to the bar. Like, it's too much trying to get the bartender's attention. Hey, let me get 10 shots and just give me a bottle. 
And then by the time I'm drunk, I don't give a fuck no more. I'm going to buy 13 yeah. bottles. Like, it don't fucking matter once I'm drunk. <laughs> but see, the thing is, even after that, once I'm drunk, I'm sitting back looking like, man, the chicks can have this shit. Yeah, like, because <laughs> yeah, you get to that point, you can't I'm even. Cool. I don't even want to drink no more because I got to drive. Yeah, you get to that point, like, you, you forcing yourself to finish your own bottle off. It's like, whatever. Me and Sticks went to um, uh, B side back when B side was on Chestnut Street. And me and him just wasn't even in there that long. We just oh, yeah. was like, well, yeah, we boy. left somewhere else. And, you know, like, all right, well, fuck, we ain't ready to go in the crib. We know all the chicks. This is the day that B-Side used to be rolling. So it's like, all right, let's go in down there or whatever. Was it Tuesdays? Yeah, it's a Tuesday or Thursday. Tuesday or Thursday, I don't know. So we buy a bottle of Patron. We didn't even drink Patron like that back then. I think we was, we was kind of in the mix between that and Henny, but we bought Patron. I took a shot or two out of it, so did he. We gave the whole bottle to like a, a, a table full of girls, and we left. We was like really like just out of it. Nothing worse in Philly or anywhere when you try and force your fun. You ever go somewhere like anywhere, yeah? Nothing open, everything closed, yeah, or it's just dead. It's like I should have just stayed the fuck in the house. Right. Like. And that's but in Philly, if you doing that in Philly is. I feel that. Worse. A, I, f- like, I feel. I feel that at this age now. A lot, right? A lot. Mm-hmm. A lot of times, I'll be like, we going out, and I, we get there, I'll be like. Unless if I don't have a plan no more, should, like it's just some winging and shit, it be dead. Like unless we out of town, I'm BYOB hookah ball heavy. Like the, 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 spot, we, the spot we be going to, yes. be cool. That's that's all I need. Like, you don't just, y'all not seeing me in a club no more. I don't feel like I got it. Like I didn't all the bottles, all that. I didn't did all that shit. I'm cool. BYOB hookah my situation. Unless we out of town, we out of town. We can do whatever the fuck you want to do. Exactly. (laughs) (laughs) Motherfuckers come and be like, "Yo, shit, where should I go?" I don't even know what the fucking. I tell people. I tell people, turn the fuck around. Don't come to me. You come here to tell you to go. Listen, somebody, somebody DM me from New York. Somebody DM me from New York. Like, yo, I'm celebrating my birthday in Philly. The first thing I said, why? Then. I said, all right, but all right, what do you, like what you looking for? And I, oh, I just want like a hookah, like a lounge type shit. I said, go to Biblos, like go to Biblos and Vingo. They was like, anything else? I said, I don't fucking they know. Said like, Biblos yeah. like hood now though. But that's where you need to go. But then. Biblos so high that they want all the niggas with the paper in here, and all the niggas with the paper hanging there, so all the girls gonna be there. So it's kind of a perfect equation. But that shit is dumb high. I now. had a terrible sips. Tasty need to in Biblos. She got open back up. Yeah, so like I'm going. I'd rather, I'd rather I'm go there. The, I'm at my the money bar at Tasty's Fridays and Saturdays. I remember I went. I met. I met this nigga at Biblos, and I don't do. You know, I don't do hookah or nothing. I'm like Biblos. I'm like, all right, fuck it. I, don't I got. Remember this. I got sauce with me. Mar was there. Remember? If it's downtown, you know to no. count me out. I got paid for parking. Yeah. Well, anyway, go ahead. So maybe, <laughs> maybe, 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 yeah, but you, you, and, you and Mar was there. You and Mar was there. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah you yeah. and Mar was there, and I met y'all down there. I get in that bitch for like ten minutes. I'm like, I see every girl I know, every girl I used to date, girls I'm dating now. Girls I'm like, I'm dating now. Get, I felt like Drake. I'm standing there with my next girl, with the ex girl, with the girl that I'm fucking right now. I'm like, this shit ain't for me. I gotta stay back in the hood. This was, it was too many watches and chains in there. I'm like, yeah, let me get my poor ass on the other side. But then we remember we, it got too crowded. We slid to this little Asian spot to get some food. Oh yeah, on that, Chestnut that was a Street. Fun ass night. That shit dog. was rolling. We ended up right as usual. We ended up right at Cooper's no. and shit. You know what? I was just looking at the video from that night. That Coop's night was fun. Yeah, as we had shit, fun. Yo. No, remember, remember the night when we went to the uh, the joint at the casino. Oh yeah, yeah. Remember me, was, that, you geeks. That was yeah, a that was classic cool. ass night. And then we dog. went to we went to the crab house. Yes. Dog. But remember, shit like that used to be fun. We used to get the RSVPs for the free events, and yeah, you felt like you yeah. you knew somebody. Meanwhile, it was just a fucking uh, email. Uh, the regular email, email that yeah. was sent out to everybody, mm-hmm. but was, people just never went. Like that we used was to get them Heineken. Night, that was fun night. Yeah, them joints used to be free. They used to be free. Heineken concerts. Yeah, they used to be free, and you all you had to pretty much worry about was parking. Mountain Dew had free concerts for a while, Wale. too. Remember yeah. the last one was and, Wale. And then who, it was, uh, was it Vitamin Water? That Her had Janae Aniko, remember that? We was all there. <laughs> oh, shit. What, we paid like $10 for that shit? It was free. It was free. We oh, just oh, paid oh, the oh, park. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That, was down, that was down like We went to um, one on Currency. Currency did one, too, and, um, on Cecil B. Moore. The little spot right there, on, um, oh, right near Temple Campus. Oh, near the other hookah joint. Yeah, we yeah, went, yeah, we yeah, went yeah, to one yeah. there. But yeah, that shit used to be fun. What but was the, what was the concert when, when you left uh, Lynn? What was that? Raw. That was Ross <laughs> concert. That was Ross concert. concert. Right, was another allegedly, one too. Allegedly, allegedly. <laughs> nigga, <I gotta>, <laughs> nigga leave. I got a million feet leaving me stories, but <laughs> that's a that's a that, if y'all want that, y'all just DM me. I tell y'all every fucking time he left me and where we was at. I got a call from a young lady like, yeah, I just I just saw Lynn. He looked lost. Like, he said <laughs> he said. 
Monique left him. I'm like, that sounds about right. I Drunk said, out my mind. I said, did you man. pick him up? She was like, no, he said he was okay. I'm like, all right. Lim, probably was, Lim was pissed that night. I was drunk. I ain't give a fuck. I think I met her with Al. Because yeah, we, start, we started at El Camino, and then we walked all through the back part of 2nd Street. But I, now that I realize how close it was in proximity. He about to justify him leaving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I, mean, I just yeah. left, bro. I, he no. left. Like I, He's left everybody here except for Shiz. Yeah. I drove. I drive. I don't saying. trust him. Sure. He left everybody <laughs> numerous times, but that's neither here nor there. Yeah. We getting yeah. all picked. We getting yeah, all yeah, but, but no, that's that just that is like I said. Listen. That's a whole. That could be a whole episode. Word, <laughs> word, no word, bullshit. Word <laughs> of the we, wise. Uh huh. Don't ride with feet. Yeah. Right? Like, like I said, yeah, yeah, look, you know what? That's me. gonna be the name of this. Don't, don't, don't ride, ride with, with feet. Me, you know, <laughs> like real shit. That is. That's like a, that. We could have a whole hour episode of that nigga would sneak out of Cooper's back door though. Some some just kick in like as I, I could take one more shot. Some kick in me like, bro, you might got like fourteen sticks, minutes sticks, to get home. Sticks to go to the and it I take me twelve. Job. So the sticks went to the bathroom. He came back. He like, yo, where feet go? I said, oh, he said he'd be right back. He like, bro, that nigga. Not <laughs> <laughs> I know him, dog. He's not coming back. You know how many nights I don't know. I was left places, man. Up, t- I mean, we was uptown at a fucking cookout. I got left. We was in 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 Rock Manioc. I got left. Uh, listen. Like I said, that's I a whole this episode. Nigga, I left this nigga at my cousin crib. He got to a domestic <laughs> issue. That's a whole. Like I said, Feek leaving you is a whole. Is a whole. Is a whole I episode. I called Daz the next morning. He was like, "Yo, bro, why the fuck? It ain't in right. The night ain't in right." I'm like, "Yo, my bad, bro." I didn't even I was, make it home that night. I was though. sleeping I went on, to my mom's. I was sleeping on the couch that night. It was couch life. For yeah, sure, for sure. Hey, man, that's why you got to invest in good furniture. Because some <laughs> yeah, days you will be sleeping on the couch. Even yeah. when it's not your fault, sometimes you might just yes. still sleep on the couch to yes. prove your point. You got to put your I foot think, down. I think uh, uh, Kiki and him told me, just go home. <laughs> 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 they was like, just go home. Just beat her home and just go home. I was like, you know what? I'm going to just go home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I, Feek loved me. I called my brother like, yo, man, come get me. This nigga Feek fucking loved yo. me. Like, he loved you. I said, yeah, I'll tell you about it when you get here. Man. I remember Nas had to fight at his crib, right? It's just something about chasing more fun that we just always do. So he had to fight at his crib, right? The fight ended kind of early. I don't remember who fight it was. I, it was maybe a Mayweather, a Mayweather fight. Mayweather yeah, fight. Right. I always had the Mayweather fights at the crib. So he lived uptown at the time. So we like, fuck it. I knew some girl that lived like... 20 all, minutes like, all the way up 309. Like, she had a nice ass curve out there. She had like a, she had a fight party too, but the fight went off and niggas still trying to be outside. Yeah. <laughs> I, had to make, I had to make an man. excuse to go yeah, out. We, I'm about to drop somebody off. Yeah, we <laughs> slid up there. We slid up there. We was having a good time, but then, you know, that's the only problem, the only problem we're having, trying to have so many things and, and, and it be like a positive vibe. You know, you have. Say, 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 for instance, Jake, you got this boy and his crew over there, and it's like, oh, they just having the time of their lives. All the girls is paying them mind. Then it's like, and then here we come. Now it's like, oh, well, who are these niggas? The, the, I, well, and then we was playing cards, remember? Yeah. We, start playing, we got in there, and we started playing cards. It became real fun, but then, like, something it happened. Was a group, it was a group of dudes. Something, he, he was, like, one of the girls' cousins or some shit like that, and something came up missing or some a shit phone. like that. Somebody a phone. Somebody couldn't find a phone. I was there. You was there. You were there. Yeah, I left my crib. Fight party? That was a that fight party? That was a fight party. The fight was over. I don't even remember that. That was at the fight party. Party. It was, it y'all left my, we, we all what, left my crib. I, all right. I don't remember that part. I remember the, yeah. the phone missing thing. Yeah, so the boy was like, yeah, well, ain't nobody leaving until we find his phone. I like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. What fuck you talking about? better find it. You know I leave, motherfuckers. I'm definitely leaving. Yeah, that shit just started turning left. It went from yeah. It went from fun to like, right, let me get out of here before we start rumbling. Yeah. But, it's, but see, it was it's always dirty niggas with ball shorts under their jeans. Yes, so. and it was a nigga with ball <laughs> shorts under. That's exactly my point is that. Why do sticks. niggas wear ball shorts? Do you are you out of drawers? You out of drawers? <laughs> So you gonna tell me you niggas out of drugs? Never know when they gonna run for. It's just like I don't know, niggas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. See? The cameraman ran for after this. Yeah. He running for, man. I told you. What Yo, is, that nigga listen, got on ball Can shorts. I ask you what is the purpose? Because you might run for. All right, yeah, there we go. All right. We, go. we we got the answer. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Like, like you just—that's you, you, your sleeping drawers. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Well, All right. they like—that's like your whole bag. 
Okay. 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 Oh, all right. Now, oh, we oh, now we get it. Now we get it. Now we get it. Oh, okay. So she be like, yo, you can't get in my in my bed with your outside clothes you or you just take your shirt. I got, I got it. it. Yeah, but what, if, if if ball shirt's the only thing you got on though, it's still what's up with you? <laughs> <laughs> so that meant you went to run oh. ball with no draws on? Oh. Like Kurt. Like Kurt. <laughs> Kurt. <laughs> Kurt showed up to play ball, right? With no draws. With, with sweats on, no draws. <laughs> I'm I like, nigga, you know, be kids out here. Right? I said, dog, are you going to a strip club or are you playing ball? Dude? Dude. Dude. Ain't no fucking laundry day, Curtis. Dude. The fuck? No, he, no, Kurt, now, get to that point. Now, now they his chef pants. He a wild boy, man. <laughs> ladies, you know? if, ladies, if a guy come to your crib, he got ball shorts on under his, <laughs> under his jeans. Just, just hide your wallet. <laughs> see, for me, for me, like if I go to your crib and you tell me no outside clothes, then see, he done spilled his drink. <laughs> next, ball shirt's about to come out. <laughs> all right, all right, next up. All right, but now nah, if a chick tell me to go to her, come to her crib and she say hit me with the no, no outside, I'm, I'm getting, getting in my drawers. Naked. Like yeah, just I'm, get, I'm getting naked. Like just socks. No, Bro, you know what? Naked, these under naked. these underwear outside too. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the door earlier in these drawers. I gotta take these off. Take these off too. <laughs> right. I got outside underwear. No, I'm not. I'm, no, no. I was sagging I'm my not, pants a little bit and then it I touched can't, the seat. I can't <laughs> take my drawers off just yet because I we I don't know if we on that level where I could walk around with the the uh, the shrimp in front of her. Like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this still this still this, soggy this time. Soggy. <laughs> I think I think I'm a little too confident because I don't be yeah. giving a fuck. To I gotta I gotta unsoggy my shit before I get get in the bed and just get comfortable. Un- and shit. Unsoggy. So I gotta you got? think it up you gotta real get quick. Sixty. Sixty. I got to think him up real quick Thank so he can wake you. up a little bit. 60%. Because, you know, the girl, all she want to do is slide to the side and spoon and put. She would just use her butt as like a measuring stick for your meat until she get it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Is this? Did you get this for fact, or this is your, this your numbers? You ran it's your numbers hypothesis. On it? I ran the numbers on it. Oh, I, I, I emailed you, but you never gave me. I, I, you emailed the wrong one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I called it later. I didn't get the crushing numbers. If you, you know, did it, you're the fine. official no, uh, mathematician. No, real shit though. I can't. I don't no. think like the first time like yeah, I can, can just show her the, the shrimp. So, no, no. I, I mean, can't show you can show her the shrimp after after sex. You after can show her the after, shrimp. Yeah, yeah, but, you why y'all on shrimp when you get there? You should already know that. <laughs> first and foremost, after <laughs> you're a pervert, you walk in there hard. <laughs> that's kind of wild. We, we, we know you walk in hard. That's kind of wild. You know what we came here for? Y'all about to eat or chill for a second? Like, nigga, tell you. Learn to be the nigga. Got to learn to be the the thermostat, and not the thermometer. Nigga, got to you got to control it. <laughs> this nigga walked in already fevered up. <laughs> nah, nah, we about I to do it. everything you said on text messages, man. You look sad. <laughs> unless, unless you tell me, like, soon as you get here, I'm sucking your dick. I'm, then, I, then I'm walking I'm in. I'm definitely with walking, so, in. So, so, walking in. So, 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 my job. So, my job. Sure. Think he definitely gonna Think be, he gonna be roke the whole ride. Right. <laughs> so, my job. This nigga telling y'all he gonna wear ball shirts under his sweatpants and come in hard. This nigga, <laughs> <laughs> he get kicked out. <laughs> Grandma ain't go to sleep yet. <laughs> Kids still running around. <laughs> this nigga in the, in the he, bag. He's like, trying to go in the laundry room and right. shit. Nigga drinking a high C with a Woody. <laughs> she talking about, you want something to eat? <laughs> yeah, but I can't come downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> that, nigga Lynn, that, nigga, that nigga vicious, man. He's a sicko. Yeah, he's, oh, he, man. he's filthy. He's and, he know, and you know he popped the gas station pill on the way. <laughs> <laughs> I seen a red gas station pill. It got two pills in it. One is one is like a bigger pill and one got a smaller, a smaller joke. Joke. And got yeah. the, the fucking stick figures. It say take one to hurt it, take two to kill it. Like, <laughs> who, would, who not going to take the two? Take the two at this point. <laughs> the the second pill, the smaller one. <laughs> <laughs> We got to kill that shit. What you talking about? I'm cool. Nah, man. Hey, we're fucking hard at So, so real quick. No, I'm ever, never taking a gas station Anybody take a pill. gas station? You ever take a V or a C? I took both. What's a V or a C? A Viagra, Viagra or C. Viagra or C. Oh, no. I took Yo, both. I did, though. That shit gave me a crazy ass headache. <laughs> right. Yo, Yo, listen. Yo. Now, God, listen. Bro. I don't have any kind of issues. Yeah, it was just but a, my uncle flew in from Arizona, so. Yeah, I think I got that. You know how you get like the She's little. She's got Ciala, uh, so ain't right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, you I'm know he was cage dancing. No, 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 I was about to say, his cage dancing. You know he was cage dancing. He gave me the You had them drones on that. Yeah, so listen. I think she gave so, so, Shit, Papa, you can't pop a joint and get in the cage. Yes, you do. How you want them tips, brother? No, that's... <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> can't come to the cage <laughs> soggy, bro. <laughs> nigga be having the Woody and the G string on him. <laughs> <laughs> nigga had a Woody's at Woody's. <laughs> That's the name of this joint. The nigga had the Woody at Woody. <laughs> you know what? Sean, you are. All right, but wild, look, dog. but look, bro. no, my my uncle brung me like the little the little trial packet of he had both. So he gave me like the trial pack. I had six a piece. So I took two. That's a lot for a trial. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, a, it's a six. It's a six pack of That's more than a six. That's a lot. No, it's not. It's seven <laughs> days out the week. You know, you, they last you for like twenty four hours, day. eighteen hours. Uh, fuck? Listen, all I'm gonna say is it's not really needed when you when you don't have those kind of issues. It's mm-hmm. because outside of that. You not gonna be fucking all night anyway. So it's like, like you said, when I took it, I had, I had my man took his first, and no, whoa, shut up, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Paul. He told me whoa, how it was the whoa, next whoa, day, whoa, right? Whoa, 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 whoa! No, chill, chill. Your man, no. Your man, I, so y'all went Viagra for Viagra? No, no, no. Listen, so <laughs> so he on, took hold it. Hold on, 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 hold on. You Hi, grind, that you, you yeah. grinded him up because his man was telling him about to eat pussy or some shit, something no, like I that. Did not. It was an episode. So you and your man was like, like you going sword fighting? Or no, I told. Listen, I told, I told my man <laughs> Marty was that, that know when, when he about. said, when he said, I'm gonna listen, show you how to, how to do it. Yeah. I know, I know, how to concentrate. I know what you're talking yeah. about. So I told Marty that my uncle had gave me some, so I gave two to Marty. Why are you gonna put Marty out there? <laughs> <laughs> His name on the, I ain't gonna tell. But anyway, I gave two to Marty. Twenty ball I, I gave Marty. Two to Marty. I took two, and then I just left the other two, two. in the pack. You took not, two? No, not took two. Oh. I'm saying took two out the pack for myself, right, and right. I gave Marty two out the pack. Right. So he, he used his with his girl, I think, like the very next day, and he just said the same shit that Shiz said. That's why I knew. You had a game of headache? He said gave him vicious ass headache. I only headache. get a half of it, too, though. You get a headache and clogged ass, it's because it's, it's, it's because we young. Our blood is already rushing through our brain, so that's all <laughs> that shit do is shoot blood to your head and to the other head. So that's why you get a headache. But So he was like, I ain't eat, though. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to take mine. I had like a Boston Market meal and some more food. Now I don't even fucking eat, but I'm like, I'm like forcing myself to eat. Like I ain't gonna have this shit fuck my head up. But it's like a the headache feeling. You could tell is just the blood rushing to your head because we don't need that shit. And it's like if you're not fucking all night, you don't need that shit. Cause like at the end of the day, you might want to just leave and go to the gas station. Now you now you can't because Dicky just don't want to chill. Like, <laughs> nah, I, it's 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 something we don't need. And I'm definitely not taking no shit out no gas station. I, I ain't taking no gas. Station, I, I barely eat. I barely eat chips out these gas stations. You see how dirty they be. Yeah. Yo, remember th- what was that? Somebody sent the video to the boy high in the gas station. Yeah, he was. He was, he was like a, he was a uh, he. Worked at inside the gas oh, station. He, you know? he must have got high when, when there wasn't nobody in line or something. Yeah, but he was, was like tweaking. The white boy yeah. was behind yeah. the glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, he was, was like tweaking. falling over and shit. But, but more of the story, fellas, don't be taking no pills from the gas station. And Listen, if you and if you young enough, don't be popping. No I'm, fucking give you, I'm about to say, don't pills, take no man. pills at uh, all. I'm gonna give y'all uh, erectile do- dysfunction. Wait, pills. Listen, wait. For, for some people out there, if your shit ain't right, get, go get blue chill. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. Blue oh yeah, we need we need to be sponsored by Blue no, Chip. We can't get on that. We can't get on all that information because they got to sponsor us. Fuck that. That's cool. Yeah, we'll we'll figure it out. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, hit, we're gonna hit the Blue Chew up. We're gonna but see if we get that, sponsored. But you know that's really that's really a, a like what you just said. Not even a sex the sex pill shit, but just like pills. Like my my man said he he was messing with this girl and she was like they was in, they was intimate and she was like damn what you took a perk. So like he was like, what you fuck like you fuck yo dope no, heads like no. you fuck fiends like that's Listen, not a thing. Like bitches really fuck niggas that do perks. Like I've had that have I've been drilling a chick. She's like, you ain't come, you must have took a perk. I'm like, sweetheart, I took why? Hennessy. Like, <laughs> yeah, like why can't it be lit? <laughs> yeah. be, or or let's just be quite frank, trash. your pussy might be trash. <laughs> That's I'm fighting for a nut. <laughs> Should have just trash. faked it, bro, and walked out. <laughs> Spit on her back. Listen, listen. <laughs> if I got to fight for it too bad, I'm just pulling out. Yeah, like, just fake it. I'm not even faking. Just roll. I'm going to just pull out. She'll be like, you done? Yes. Mm-hmm. What you do with the cum? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't so, know. So would you, speaking of that, like messing with somebody in heaven, like would you let somebody, would you let someone, uh, would they post on Instagram determine uh, whether you date them or not? Like, the like way have naked pre- pictures, thirsty pictures? Uh, um, Only I fans. could I could lie and be like, yeah, because I it just makes me think so much differently of her. But that might be one of the reasons I'm actually attracted to her because it's how bad she looked with no clothes. <laughs> See, it is what it is. Like we will all be fraud and be like, but you don't necessarily be like, oh damn, I'm about to marry this girl. But fucking with her, yeah, it would like, be a different story. Yeah, but like being in a like serious relationship, no. 
I'm going I'm to I'm be honest. Like, attracted to her. That's how. Like, she might right. change, I, though. But, like, but, but she, her the, post might change when right, y'all get, right. when, you know what I'm saying? But see, the thing is, like, like I always see, like, when, when uh, say, if, like, a, a, a blog page posts a girl or something and her body is crazy, and girls be like, oh, well, is it any more regular girls? And then niggas be like, oh, that's trash. I'll be looking. I'll go click on their job. like, nigga, please, you would hit that. Because I I'm definitely, right. I definitely would drill that to the headboard. So it's like I'm, I, if she if she posts to have naked pictures, yeah, I would I would mess with her, but I don't. Me personally, I don't think I could take her seriously unless she changed. So what's too far then? Too far is like uh, probably <sighs> actually having the OnlyFans. Only fa- yeah, but I would, but. No, since I want no, to own it's a business to start the only fans no so now just want to make selling porn you. he want to <laughs> make porn you talking I'm about me you, you talking about me and fucking uh what wanting to meet what you calling with the fucking billion dollars worth of fake jewelry he ain't the one knowing me be pumper he want <laughs> that know. nigga to put him in the game <laughs> <laughs> show me the fucking game bro. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch ain't got no table man <laughs> give me no, the egg I mean, give me the you, egg what, so so what what do you feel like would be too far uh <laughs> give me the egg yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know, man. It, it, it's probably the, probably the only fans thing, but then at the same time, can I knock her hustle either? Right. It's just like everybody, everybody in the world just do whatever the fuck they want. But the fact that I know you can make money off the fact that niggas is like obsessed with you. But your feet. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like just, with, feet. just with anything. Because a lot of chicks on OnlyFans. The same content be on OnlyFans. They don't post it on Instagram no more. Uh-huh. They make that. They make that the reason why you gotta pay ten dollars a month. And it's the same pictures that's still okay for IG. It's like no naked shit. But it's like, how horny are you, bro, to pay ten dollars a month for a girl twerking? So, so all right. Speaking of that, well, right? stay on Instagram then. So, what's too far on Instagram? No, but what about Joel Santana girl? Yeah, right. like Kim Bella, she nice, and she and that's his wife, fan. right? That's like his baby mom right. or so his wife. Or something. They probably made an agreement because he ain't making no music, so she probably just know what not to post because she posts. She used to post her body and all, all the shit all the time, yeah. time anyway. But she already became a like a, a VH1 celebrity, so she already know how to sell herself. So that's a little different. He's been a, he's been used to that, like you know what I'm saying. And not to mention. We might not have knew her before this, but she might have been like a video vixen or or she just was she was like that vision. prior to he meeting her to him meeting her. It's like all right, if I meet Dre or Esther Baxter today, I'm like, yeah, I know you only knew me for t- uh, ten days, but you got to delete your uh, OnlyFans. Like, all right, so what's what's too far for you? Um, like, would, well, back to the question: Would you right, would you date somebody? Yes. Okay. Yes, I would because I'm I'm not insecure. But mm-hmm. then it becomes, what's the purpose? Like if you're just taking like crazy sexy lingerie pictures just because it's like, or if you're making money off of, if you making money, making money off of, of that, that's completely yeah. fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm, off the listen, paid advertising. If, if you're you making money, I'll take the pictures for you. Like right. that, that's just that. Right. Now let's spend the OnlyFans. If you're making money off of it, I ain't against it. I'm not because in the same sense, it's like it's not like you fucking other niggas on your OnlyFans. If you just on there, if you want to play with your pussy on OnlyFans, it's fine. If you're making a coin, I don't give a fuck. Solely because you send nudes to niggas for free. Like, right. you know what I mean? Like, right. you just sent the nigga a nude for free. I'm positive. So, right. if you're going to get some coin behind it, do your thing. I ain't against it. I would star in it on some nice shit. <laughs> <laughs> on some nice shit. On some nice shit. shit. <laughs> I'm in How that about too. you, shit? Nah, yeah, back to the original question, though. I don't think, like, if. I could date you. We could have fun and shit like that. But I don't think I could get that serious if you posting, you know, exposing yourself all crazy. Like, we could date and have fun and all that. But I don't think it, it might not get to a certain level. Like you said, kind of maybe if you chill with it. Now, I'm not talking about somebody making money off this shit. I'm talking like you just posting thirst traps, like, type shit. So, so for instance, like how, like, then to be devil's advocate, like, of course, we're not on Instagram posting meat prints and shit. But Feek, you and I post a lot of wild shit on our page. You right, know what I mean? So that's right. something that we could be judged for. That's very true. You know what I mean? I so, mean, Shiz Cage yeah. Dance. So exactly. Like, his right. girl might not want him to do that shit. He but. got another Instagram just for that. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Shizzy Cage. Shizzy yeah. Cage. <laughs> Somebody probably yeah. gonna make one too just because. <laughs> yeah. Shizzy Cage. Shizzy what, Cage. What about you, Lenzo? How, how would you? How about? How about you? It probably with like no towel pics, but I mean like bathing suit pics, like all that shit is <laughs> like towel nigga a freak. He start taking <laughs> a towel pics. A towel pics. I'm thinking like you know, like you'll see like models post like towel pics, and we all follow somebody where they like 
<laughs> have almost freak. nude and shit like <laughs> right there by the by the <laughs> nipple and shit like that. So like shit like that. He's coming in hard. hard. He, he, the topic. So, so he came in hard on the topic too. <laughs> you know, you know what he looking for when he go to these. Instagram or other niggas answer the page. question and expect me not to be ready. But but, but this true. All right, okay. Just like you go to the door ready, ready right? He ready. Nigga, little south. He hot and ready. I right, am ready, baby. This nigga, he be on porn. You be on Pornhub searching towels. <laughs> Towel scene. Towel scene. <laughs> <laughs> crazy, dog. Yo. Little Caesar, a wild nigga. Remember, no, no kink no, shaming. No uh, Caesar. Right. No kink no shaming, kink bro. Shaming. No yeah. I'm sorry. No kink shaming. Yeah, no. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Len. I'm sorry. Little Caesars. Little Caesar. Wow. I'm ready. Man, dog. Dog. That's, Lin, I'm putting, that's Lin's own name. Straight I'm off. On now. That nigga Lil straight Caesars. on it. He on his way with his ball shorts and sweatpants on and a fresh off a of gas station <laughs> pill in Hennessy. <laughs> nigga, nigga can't breathe out his nose. <laughs> 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 nigga, <laughs> nigga had a semi stroke, but he just think he drunk. <laughs> nigga took nine things before this night started. Sound like a hot boy track. <laughs> <laughs> nigga can't eat no pussy. He gotta keep coming up for uh, ass. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh, god. I oh, think it's ass. Oh. Gotta turn his horny you down. He should turn all the way down. Yeah, fucking horny down. Yo, y'all niggas is sickos, man. That's mm-hmm. a bad drawing though, like you said. Your nose stuffed up. That's a bad. <laughs> you know, trying to eat pussy with a stuffed up. I got allergies, oh. so you gotta catch me on a great day. Like, <laughs> Shit, fuck that. Bad. You know, you know, like your, the human body do whatever whenever it want. You can't even like cough right now while you having sex. Like, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? It don't mean like you coughing up mucus or anything. Like you just can't even like have a little short dry half an air cough. Like, See, but like I said, check cough or sex. I, I don't even think COVID. I think AIDS. Like, whoa, like. What? Why are you, what? Why are you coughing AIDS. right now? Yeah, AIDS. I'm sorry, that's, man. Cool. that's just like the commercials. When you fucking, it's always AIDS commercial. And on, I turn bro. it right off. You got, yeah. You got to turn it right <laughs> Shit crazy, and man. You know the sex raw, so it's really scary, man. It's like, holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> Coughing during this raw. Yeah, you coughing during this raw is kind of scary, yeah. man. What the fuck is wrong with you, ah. man? Hey. Mm-mm. Coughing during this raw. <laughs> 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 Yo, that's funny as shit. Like so many things. Like I, I don't like. I wonder, like, like how do all people think about like the shit that go. What's the craziest thing you think go across your mind when y'all having sex? Like outside of like the feeling of it being good. That's that's that's, that's the genuine shit. But like, what you would think came across your head weird while you was having sex? Like that was like over the top for you. That made you think like. You go first. Yeah. <laughs> right. You gotta give an example because you I don't know, like should I even be here? Like, am I gonna die in a week? Like why why was I why was I this horny? You know should turn my horny all right, down. Alright, so sometimes, like sometimes I'll be so eager to fuck and then once I fuck, I was like, what did I get out of that? Like, why did I just do this? Like, this shit ain't make me no money. Yeah. Like, I really be oh, so thinking you, you, sometimes. You, gotta, you, you beat up on yourself afterwards. Yeah, because I feel like it's such a hoe. Like, yeah, I, why did I just give this woman the best seven minutes of her life? Why did I call her all these nasty you, names? You know what I mean? Why did I choke her? Why, <laughs> why, why did I spit in her mouth? Like, why did I do that? Like, I, I really- You I feel really, like a, you feel filthy, nah, right? I, I really just hogtied this woman like I was kidnapping her. <laughs> but sometimes you like, you might even- I don't know how to hogtie. <laughs> I don't know how to hogtie people. <laughs> I, I'm telling you now, that nigga yeah. knew how to hogtie. Yeah, that yeah. Knew that shit not rocket science. Yeah. Damn. Nah, but you really like I'm, you don't really be thinking like that sometimes. No, I, I have uh, you can't think that or even look at them like, damn, you really let me do all that shit right. to you. And yeah, so like, it was fun in the moment, but and they always look like innocent. who else you let like, do this shit to? You? They always look innocent. Another thing is who taught you this? Yeah, I like do you, I love you for it. You but might I need, need to give them a high though. five. Listen, I got to give them a high five. This one chick for, for showing you this and then letting you come to me. This one chick sent me a video. She said, "This is what I want you to do to me, right?" It was a video of a nigga in the shower getting hit, right? The bitch was sucking his dick. He was smacking her in the <laughs> face. I'm so like, she yo, be beat up. I can't do that. Like, cause we gotta sign a form. Like, first. Yeah, like <laughs> I was looking like then he was like, yo, did he have soap in his hand? No, he just was smacking the <laughs> shit out of her. Like, and then like I was watching the video, like the chick was all scared, like she was like flinching and shit. I'm like, once you flinch, my dick will get soft. Like, <laughs> like, like no. Nah. You had to apologize. Yeah, I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like, you already don't like blood, so <laughs> yeah, like, I smacked the shit out. You start bleeding night over. <laughs> Yeah, I go yeah. to fuck home. That's like when you even porn, like we talking about that kink shaming shit. The last episode, like you could 
look at porn and the chicks be some. Listen, I'm not saying that looks matter as far as porn, but when you see a chick in porn, sometimes you be like, why the f- like God damn, like you this what you got to resort to like right. <laughs> some of them just yeah. be too bad for, for that sure. shit a lot of- for sure. But it's like whatever you you want to walk in that path, you want to walk in that path. But it's like when it comes to the porn, the girls be like super eager to act like they be doing it. I know they cry afterwards. Like no, some don't. of them, they no, gotta. They don't. Some of the shit they, they, they be getting done to them. They don't cry. Listen to me, dog. They, they doing that shit on the house. Yes. <laughs> so if they getting paid to do it, they ain't crying, dog. Well, they remember when crying. I emailed uh, <laughs> Tiana Trump? She she uh, she didn't give me a bad quote. No, her prices wasn't. It bad. wasn't that bad. So why you ain't booking? She was arrested. I mean, oh. she was on um, probation. Right. She couldn't fly. Her price, yeah, she fly. couldn't, she couldn't her fly in. Went up by now? It was, yeah, it definitely if went it's up. It's COVID. Now. It might have went down. <laughs> she, uh, she, she, uh, it's COVID. It might have went I think down. she said 1500 Hit her up. But this is the she thing. On the for what? One, like, 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 what? A one round? <laughs> like, I don't know if it was yeah, like for, for an hour. Round. Well, for 1500 I was walking in there on some lynch shit. So it didn't even matter. <laughs> yeah, 1500 you definitely walked in was getting my I was getting my round worth. And I'm but get, she was and like. What time? To, uh, and I'm beating start. up before I get <laughs> there so I can last longer. She used to DM me and email me back like we was friends. And that's what I couldn't believe. I'm like, I'm not about to, like. Not do this. Like <laughs> this I shit really got locked the fuck up. <laughs> Damn. I remember. I remember. I, do I remember yeah, her getting her booked or something. I emailed her and then I emailed the girl from the news. I, mean, I still got that screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what bitch from the news? The, the, the girl from Ali oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I emailed her too. I told never mind. <laughs> yeah, How I, you doing, Ali? I really got that screenshot still. <laughs> It was like bro, su- it said bro su- send her a selfie. Nah, it, said it, it was, was a, a close self- up, a creep ass selfie. Then the selfie. phone was right here to his face. <laughs> Listen, it was a creep ass selfie with no message, and then in the and the subject and the subject was like, if you want me to spit in your butt, holler at me. It's some shit like that. <laughs> Yo, it said it was no message. It was just a, a selfie subject, and a subject. subject. And a nigga was a cop at the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Close shot. <laughs> Close mouths don't get fed. <laughs> literally. You a literally. sicko. Literally. You are a sicko. That's why I love st- you, dog. Either way, either way, I was still coming with draws on. So and I wasn't that sick. Like, was you, you know coming, Was you coming Little Caesars already? No, I mean, I couldn't. I couldn't. Because why is she looking for a date? Wasn't she dating? Yeah, she was it was, it was, it was the, like, she was, it was a, a sexy single. single. She yeah. was new to Philly. She right. was in like in the newspaper and shit. I remember that. Yeah, I re- yeah that, damn, that was, that was that years was ago. That was probably, that was like six, six, seven years ago now. Damn, I remember. That was, you You was a creep for that. That was All like right. the creepiest shit ever. Okay. One of the creepiest things ever. Niggas it's okay. Still a creep. Like, he I wake up, so if I wake up, creep. I can wake up with girls in my DM uh, just saying all of all the stuff they, they would like to do to me, and I can't. Express to a, a young lady I see you on the should, news. See, your problem is you should tell them women that they shouldn't do that to you. I just <laughs> ignore them. Treat you with respect. You know what's crazy? Like I just spent some money the other day. Why can why can ugly women like DM us and then like <laughs> hold on, hold on. Why can ugly women DM us like, damn, I want to suck your dick and I have to. I'm supposed to be like, okay, come do it. Uh, no, no, no Dicky, no light. And why can't? And so, so if that's okay, so why can't I do it? Why can't I DM a chick like, damn, I want to spit in your butt? No, uh, and I get blocked, and I, now I'm on the shade even, room. The even, crazy not, thing not is, though, say, if you say, say it to most girls, they cool with it. Though. They cool with it. <laughs> it's just be certain niggas can't can't say that no, kind of but, shit to but a chick. But, not, like. but to touch back on what you said, Steve, not is that necessarily <laughs> ugly girls. We're not going to say not that. Not ugly girls. I'm sorry. A girl you're not. A, girl a woman not you're not. A, you're not attractive. feeling. She could be attractive. You just I, not feeling her. Right. But there's nothing wrong. But, but, but why? Like every, you said, why can't I? Deny her. It ain't the dreams at the end of the day. Right. But yeah. it's like I'm not interested. You don't have to. I don't have to be accessible to everybody. 100%. As a man, you know Absolutely. what I mean. Like it, it shouldn't, but men shouldn't feel bad for that. And I think no. a lot of people shame men for that because I, you're attracted to what you're, you're attracted you're to. You're considered she, like, 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 right. like I've heard that I've like heard. if you turn the girl down, you're gay. I'm like, what? Like, right. So I'm just supposed to tackle everything, everything that want right. to tackle me. Right. right. So then, no. like, I, then I, the I can't club. have standards. Look, we was in the strip club. My, you know, Reek. Yeah. Why are you gonna put his name out there? Ain't that this man was, married? This was so long ago, bro. This was this was nobody knew he was married till you just said yeah. he was married. I, honestly, I don't even know if I knew he was married. But anyway, it was he it might was, not be married. I think I'm bluffing. Anyway, yeah. all right, fuck it. Anyway, we was in the strip club, bro, and this chick started grinding on me. But mind you, she was whack as shit though. Was she a stripper? She was a stripper, but she grinded on him. It, and when she got the reek, she was like, he was like, no, nah, I'm cool, I'm cool. She's like, no, nah, come on, like you know they some of them be aggressive as fuck. 
She yeah, they on do. him and he was like, yo, I'm cool. She turned around and snapped, what you gay, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> Start going the fuck in like, damn, he gay because he don't want the dance. That's what how they like, did. Uh, I was crazy. Uh, What's that, vanity? Maybe yeah. aggressive no, I, shit. No, I remember. Listen, I was in, this is maybe like three, four years ago, me. Me, Tom, my brother, we went we went to Vanity after like a Jeezy show. This mm. one, this one, you was married? I've never been married a day in my life. Yo, what's up, with boy? Yo, he just trying to try expose not, people. I, I, I've never been married a day in my life. Go but, ahead, bro. For this is door. Thank you, Lane. <laughs> fuck, fuck sticks. <laughs> he was, he yeah. was. You know, I should have let him. But whatever. That's an old enough story. Just <laughs> <the> story. <laughs> but, no, we was in Vanity, and and I, I didn't even have like ones out or nothing. We was in there, we was chilling, and strippers come up dancing on me, and I'm like. I'm not interested. Like I, I don't like. Yeah. I, you know what I mean. I don't want no lap dance. Whatever case may be. Like I don't want it. Like you just come dancing on me. I don't want it. You know what I mean. I was right. cool, and they look at me like nut ass nigga. I gotta be on. See, I gotta be a nut ass nigga because I don't want you to dance on me. You entitled to that opinion, baby. But I'm still not giving I'm, you these ones. You, I, don't, I didn't even have ones out. Listen, this is my thing. If I come to the strip club with a badder chick than the strippers, I'm not. With, like, I'm getting her lap dance. Yeah, that's it. like, like I don't want it. <laughs> but you know what? It's some strip club. It's some strip clubs that just know. But up here in Philly, I yeah, don't, like, I don't think there's no nice strip clubs up here in Philly. I no, it wrong, is. No, it is. It I, is. Me, even I, even the strip clubs itself really are are just like strip clubs. I mean, but it be different from bad, down south. It be bad chicks in certain strip clubs here that. Is like that just be our max? Like it's just like five, it's like three or four nice ass joints in there, and then the rest is just whatever. You come play your house fee, and you could do whatever you want to make your money at the end of the day. You go down south, you go to Atlanta, you you will want to go back to the sure ATM. Club. Like you yes. want to go back. Yes, like, yes, yes. Like yes. damn, like they make girls that look like Listen, this and shape like I'm this. Telling like, you. And then they hit you with that. Even the bitches that's not even getting a lot of play. Right. It's better than Jones. Right. And they hit, listen, and then they hitting you with that accent. But but they like, the, but they hospitality even in a strip club be so nice to where oh, yeah. I want to spend my money. Yeah, it's like catering. Like you cool, you need Honestly, anything? Like they don't even come. Like they don't you come jump on you and dance on so you. Right on the day after the show. Yo, the way they be talking yo, y'all want to get on the road? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm off tomorrow. <laughs> I could drive you where you need to yeah, go. <laughs> Start telling the stripper you ain't really got to do this. <laughs> like, yeah, why you here? You're too, oh, be- you're too beautiful for this. <laughs> yeah, man. Like you know, she giving you her number. To never call you again. She just wants to soak up all these tips tonight. But it's just like, yo, I can't believe I'm about to wife her, yo. I'm taking her out of all this shit. <laughs> I'm changing see, her yeah, life. Changing see, her my, fucking that, life. That's my. It's always been my problem with strip clubs. That's, that's why I don't go. Like, I really be you falling fall in love. love. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, like I'm they be strip. really selling you a fucking dream. Like, oh, I want you to fuck me. I be like, oh, really? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Just take some of this. All right, now what you want me to do? <laughs> oh, you a nasty bitch. <laughs> like... You know what? Let's you know what? Let's go. Like, to, let's get a private room. Come on. <laughs> strip clubs really ain't my thing, but it's not. It's well, it's really not none of our things. We no. we went, but it's like none of us like that. My thing is because I'm I'm just living a way of thinking like just normal money. Like if I go blow five hundred in a strip club, and then a the girl I'm laying with or the girl I talk to every day that I really like asks me for five hundred, and I be like. Oh shit! I gave that shit the diamond last night. <laughs> right. You should have asked me this right. morning. Like it's like, oh well, fuck you too. Listen, like, every time I spend money like that, I automatically think like, damn, I could have bought some fucking sneakers. Man. Every single time, like, yo, right. I really spent that last night. I could have got them off white fives. Fuck some shit off stock X. Exactly, you been on. Mm. Yo, so I meant to, I mean to, I meant to show you out of most people and Lynn. They got they got this documentary on the fake stock X, like this the uh just like I. They letting fake sneaks siphon through the website. I'm gonna send it to you. It's probably too many sneaks. And they like got that. like they've shown they were showing the difference of how to load. You know the green thing come on the sneaker. You can just buy those. Right. Yeah, that's what they were saying. That's what they The oh, green shit. tag. You can just yeah, buy. Yeah. That's them. what they were saying. See, but what people are doing, people are buying them and then putting it on a fake sneaker and then taking it to a, like a resale store, thinking that like they're not going to verify. Right. It. Somebody else verified. Like, no, they're still going to verify. Right. It, you know what I mean? But. Yeah, but they, I, they, they, some fakes get through. It's definitely mm-hmm. happens. That's cool. But yeah. eBay is for people out there that's looking for sneakers. eBay is offering it, offering a verification service, and it's free. Versus StockX and Goat that charge to verify your sneaker. Mm-hmm. eBay is doing it for free. 
You can't be giving out that. You know what's crazy? You know I got big ass. They gotta cut us a check. I'm sorry. I'm just hoping out the fellow sneakers. No, y'all know I got I got big ass feet. So like when I go on Stock X, I be like everything be seeming like all right. Not too. Size be cheap. I'm about to say once they get past certain size, the price should go down. My size that I can't fucking get. No, no, that's what I'm about to say. Yeah, it's like eight through eleven. Eight through eleven be like high. Then it's like twelve, twelve, twelve and a half. Be okay. Sixteen. I wear thirteen. Thirteen be high as shit. You know why though? A lot of shipments only come with one thirteen. Yeah, like the store only get one thirteen. Yeah. When I worked at the joint, like we get, we would get all the J's or whatever. What do you sell, sneakers? Nah, they sell slots. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Go ahead, Lena. Nah, but no, like, they only usually got, like, 113 in the shipment, like, one or two. So that's probably why, if mm. you got 13, it's harder to get them, you know. You wanted, you wanted it? Yeah, there, so we there, got. There you go with the, with the sneaker knowledge. Thank you, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> we got a question. Up, so man. somebody sent the question to the page. It says, why don't, uh, why don't men like dating anymore? Dating is supposed to be fun, so I'm confused. Can y'all simply not afford it? I think we so like. So why dating? don't men like dates? Can I go first? I, I, I was go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead no, go ahead, I, go ahead. I was going to say we love dating. Is that we don't like to date everyone. We like yeah. to date people we like, yeah. and we do have money. It's just that I'm not wasting my money on somebody who don't like me or I don't like. You gotta spend your money on all of the motherfuckers you dating. You gonna pick who you want to spend your bread on, right? right go, so, go ahead, sticks. Okay, I, so here, I said what I said. Here it goes. It's sure, I said sure what sweet. I said. So it's it's very short and sweet. So. <laughs> Niggas, no, the sweetheart, whoever that young lady is that said that, uh, you got to understand that. Niggas date. He just didn't want to date you. You. That's yeah. all that is. There's no science to it. Some, some, okay, so some some men feel like certain women aren't date worthy, okay? So he may fuck you. You may come to the crib. Y'all can smoke hookah. Y'all can chill, but he's not going is out that, with is you. Is that a date? It could be a date. But it's, but it's this, this, this is this is my thing. Like everybody don't feel like. Just for instance, women. Let's let's put a spin on it. How y'all will go out with a nigga solely for food, right? You, you have no plans on in it, like entertaining him any any further than a date as far as a meal, right? But then you got a nigga that probably never took you to fuck out, and he blowing your fucking back out on the house. So <laughs> it's the vice versa. But. Niggas love dating. Like I, I don't know any fellas that don't like da- dating. Is fun as shit. Like especially if somebody you like. It's, like it's yeah, really you enjoy fun, being right? around. You doing new shit. What? And, like I want to do this with this person. Like, yeah. Like I look know. forward to yeah. dating when I like you because I want to. I want to do new shit. Like I don't know. I don't. But know. Don't pressure or force a nigga into a yeah. date. Like if you gotta threaten a nigga with dating. Listen, like, he don't want to date. Let that you shit have go. The, ladies, do this this one is on me. This one right here? <laughs> ladies. <laughs> Listen here, ladies. Listen here. <laughs> if you got to ask a man to take you out, he don't want to take you out. That's your tip. <laughs> That's dude. That really could be the tip, though. But no... I- that's real shit though. Like a chick, like dog. A chick you want, a chick you want, you want to entertain. She not asking you. You already planning this, it. This is the thing. I feel like, uh, like everything goes off a of vibe. So when people, when women look at certain guys for just the way they look, or because they might look like they got a bag, you already looking at it wrong because they they already deemed if they was going how they was going to approach you or treat you from the rip. Like you know what I'm saying? Right. Like you said, it's nothing wrong with dating. Dating is fun. Dating is even fun when you can date. You can date and still be around your homies because, like, double dating and triple dating and all that kind of shit still exists when the time's right. You right. know what I'm saying? But girls not really used to dates no more, mm-hmm. like, with certain niggas because it's like certain niggas ain't taking y'all on dates. But that's just because y'all, that's not what they want to do with y'all. It's girls that date all the time. Mm-hmm. It's girls that, all right, well, I'll meet you here or I'll slide up at your crib. It's just, it's just, it go by the way that people treat people. But that's the same with, like you said. It could be a guy, a nice guy, hustle, get money, legally, illegal, don't even matter. And he could like you and go, and he could take you out every day of the week. But to you, this date was not as fun as the fact that you wanted Sticks to take you out because, you know, Sticks is fun. You know, Sticks has a good time when he out. So it's like all these dates don't mean shit. This boy got a, a, a got everything you asked for, but he just ain't it for you. Another, you know what I'm saying? Another thing, too, is like what's your expectation and what's your definition of a date? Because sometimes it's like, you want to go to this restaurant, so you want this nigga to date you because you want he's your ticket to the restaurant that you want to go to. Yeah, that's because you want also, the pictures and shit. Like exactly. some of the dopest dates that 
you could go on sometimes it's free or cheap as fuck. It's just right. it's, it's, the, it's vibe the vibe you got with the person. So are you really looking to date to enjoy yourself and have a good time and get to know me? Or are you looking to date because you want me to take Girls you to the Girls is looking to date right to now to, to show that a nigga right. took them certain uh-huh. places. I yeah. see the corniest girls at, at, and, and, and they just got to show where they sat. Like right now. They be competing with Right now the new joint right now is um, Steak, Steak 48. 48. Right. They got those steps, right. the white steps and shit. So everybody want to show yeah. that they went there or whatever. Which is cool. You want to dine good. I have no problems with that or whatever. Right. But so could the same guy took you to uh, somewhere le- less meat, like somewhere mediocre to eat for the same date, or the date don't count unless you could show girls. Exactly. You only trying to show girls or the nigga you really like that you met another nigga that could take you somewhere. Have you ate at State Forty Eight? Not yet. No. All right. That place I put you on the media. How was that food? Shit was all that. It ain't about like we're not we're not doing it for the name. Like right. I'm doing it for, for the, the quality food. of food. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah not, talk- I will never take a girl out because she wants to take a picture there. Like right. even even Gene George. Like I didn't that shit want, just for the look. That like, shit yeah. in the air. That's about it. I the same with R two L. When I looked at the menu, I wasn't pleased. I, granted, it was good, but I don't have to go there ever again. Right. Not because it's overpriced, just because. I don't have to go there. It was okay. I I, I can name five BYOB restaurants in now, Philly. Even, that's way even better than that. This this the spot we know about in uh in um down DC. We ain't gonna. Oh say yes, that. <laughs> the spot we know about in Listen, DC. And that yeah. shit is all that, yeah. and it ain't even like e- it's not even expensive. The views, all it's just the ambiance, the, the, all the, that. The atmosphere of it is 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 totally different, and it's nice. But that's the point. Like it's not about. It's not about the name. Like, people get caught up in the name of food. Like, for instance, right. before it was Steak 48, and before it was Gene George, it was fucking Del Frisco's. Everybody right. was on Del Frisco's Ste- steps. On the steps, That shit right. not even that good. Come shit on, Shit not that good. But, it's not. But, like, but like, back to that. It's like, <clears throat> in order for a man is going to go above and beyond for somebody he's attracted to, somebody 100%. he wants, somebody he wants to be around, he ain't going to bullshit you. And if he got the money, oh, he definitely going to spend it on you. 100%. So, so it's not about men do date. It's just that you're not getting dated. That's all it is. The man that you're talking to doesn't like you enough to date you. What? Yeah, no, no. That's what I was uh, thinking. I was talk because I was talking to some girl about the uh, when she asked it, and I was just like, "Yo, maybe sometimes." Um, because I was talking to another nigga about it, and he was like, he was like, he just don't like the pressure that some girls put. Like, yo, when you gonna take me on a date? When you gonna yeah. take me on a date? And I told her, I was like, yo, you might have to rephrase like, yo, let's go hang out, because the guy was basically like. Yo, like she, it's too much if you say I took you on a date. Cause you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If you took, like, but, think how many times, like, yo, let's go hang out, have some drinks. Right. It ain't that much pressure as a date. Cause but, then but if no, you say a date, but, I gotta take you to Steak 48. I gotta have no, roses in the right, no, in the, in the passenger see, this, seat. This but some thing, girls though, think that. But, but back, back to that though. If a man, if you ask a female for a number and you ask her to take her out, take her the fuck out. Yeah, that's true too. Why you asking, why you asking for a female number if you yeah. don't want to take her out? What are you gonna do? You wanna hang out in the house? Like, girls don't want to hang out. It could girls, be. No, I mean, but, but eventually no, it'll but, get to that no, point. It'll get to that point, but a girl just don't. Not every female wants to just come to your house. See, Take right. her outs. Huh? COVID spoiled a lot of niggas. It did, yeah. but, but, it, but, I'm not but, mad but at see, it, the though. thing is. <laughs> That's life. No, Take her out. Life says court, sit the fuck down. Court her. <laughs> show her a good time. And, and, and brother, she'll come to you. See, she might, you might get it on the first date. But a lot of niggas if, don't if, know. If you know how to, if you know how to talk, and, not, you, and you and you fun enough, you can probably get it on the first date. A lot of date. niggas don't know how to court or date. Like they don't like, know. That's they, they niggas don't. don't know what they don't. That's they don't. why I said, lady, you got so, yo. Let's hang out. No, it's tell not a, about tell a nigga let's hang out and I watch watch how the whole bro, thing changes. Right. It's not it's about it's not, but no, not the female. Watch, it's not on a female. It's on a, it's on a yeah. man some to know how to court. No, to some look into some niggas can't even date though. Like, like don't even have date etiquette. Like when you go like when you go out to eat with a lady. Like you know what I'm saying. Just to be masculine when it comes to just being the, being on a date. Like right. uh, just real quick. Uh, gotta go. I'm clocking out. I love y'all. I got it's cage day for me. I can't no. miss this. Oh money. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah get some money, man. Show your sneaks, man. <laughs> <laughs> Show your sneaks, man. Mas- no, yeah. They match the gloves. I forgot you definitely got. I forgot you got rolled. But happy yeah. cage day, man. You you in the stationary joint or the swinging joint? Uh, I'm in the one right in the middle. All right. <laughs> All right, bet, man. Well, no, what you saying, y'all? No, I'm just saying, like, basically. You have to, men have to learn how to court women. It's not all about just, if you like her and you slide her, deep, if you're going to shoot 100 shots and then you finally get a chance to take her out and then you don't have no plans, how, why did you shoot your shot 100 times without plans? Right. 
You, you get what I'm saying? Like, have some plans in store for the lady. Even if he might have shot, might have shot his joint from half court, and it just happened to go for in. <laughs> but goddamn, nigga, has some oh, has some shit. plans. I think no. of something. It's 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 but no, it's real rap though. It's do. dope. It's dope. Even like even like it's dope dates though. Like I said too though. Some joints, especially if you don't know somebody, you don't know how you're gonna feel sitting across from somebody having a whole meal with them. Every date don't have to be revolved around food. Like museums, different shit around yeah. the city. Car dates. Um, <laughs> like yo, like real shit. Let's go <laughs> grab some ice cream. Like you would grab. Yeah, ice that's cream, what I'm saying. Chill Car dates. Walk. You, you don't you know, know what man, what's the name talking about. Like it. it's, yeah. it's little shit you can do that ain't but even, even even like on the Parkway recently, like in the last few months, they was having like movies. Yeah. They show movies in at, yeah. at, uh, at the park. So like you could have went there. It, it was it's plenty of things that men could right. do other than asking the female to come over your house, nigga. If she don't know you, she ain't, nigga, women is getting fucking. Uh, uh, sex trafficking and all this shit. She ain't just gonna come to the house to a nigga she met off Instagram. Yeah, I think it, niggas should even be smart about that. About just I don't want to just go yeah. Yeah. and True. or just going to see her either. Like exactly, you know what I'm exactly. Like go out. You ain't gotta, and you ain't always gotta pick her up at her crib. She could, she could meet you Somebody somewhere. Did, meet first you, of all, yeah. I feel like the first date, more than likely, when y'all like, you know, the you first date, y'all should meet, y'all should, y'all should meet, y'all should meet at that place. I mean, because at the end of the day, we we meet people from all over the world, so it's like not, y'all necessarily might not be. <laughs> that close to each other but i feel like it's easier for me to just be like all right well what time you want to meet there right. because then that gives you that gives you the chance to to really determine how long the date is after the first mm-hmm. spot like if we done eating and if shit don't we go both well. right we like, both drove so it's like if we both done eating then it's like if she, you know how girls are when they like you they like all right well i'm not ready for the date to end yet right. we can go find something else to do right. it don't necessarily mean they want to go home and fuck but it's like all right well we can go yeah. get some more drinks but that 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 that, co- that comes with the process of dating, though. Mm-hmm. But, but go ahead. no, no, go. Ahead. I was go just on. thinking, every, everything in this day and age is just all it's all social media motivated. Uh-huh. So it's like you could have been out on the the best date of your life, but if you ain't take a picture of it, then it's like it's not believable. But then like, that's, see, that's that's why I mean, like that's when it's kind of like come down to what's your real motive for you saying this man ain't taking me on a date. Right, if you pick, if you, you say this picture man ain't taking, like yeah, that, like, like, are you really interested in like dating me and getting to have this experience right now, or are you just trying to take pics for the gram? Right, so, like, it goes back to what y'all was saying. Back into like, what's like, your real motive behind this I, shit? I, I know women, they they get dressed because they they know they look good. They want they want to show up their body, up, right. they, and I'm digging all yeah, that. That's good, that's but cool. dates still go off of vibes, like, and also you gotta c- kind of create other things to do. Like, I just seen somebody on the gram. They went on a date to like they went on like a date to like a brunch on a train, and it was super fly. It was like I'm not, I'm not. That's not Joe. Like we said, I hit her up. It was like, yo, where is this Joe at? Because I want to go on a date there. Like, but that's the way that people gotta gotta start doing shit because it's like black people will get somewhere and we be like. Oh well, no, I can't tell people where I hang. But now we got a new restaurant here that everybody's fucking going to. So what's yeah. the difference? Like it's, it's 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 other than big name um Del Frisco's and Ocean Prime, there's a lot of restaurants around the city that you can go to that has good that's great food. The vibe and is the va- in the vibe, but the vibe be even mm, better. The vibe <laughs> is when you got somebody that's just trying to hang. Yeah. It don't matter if you got ten thousand dollars in your pocket or a hundred dollars in your pocket. Just somebody who really is out to be around you for that duration so of time. I was on a date, we was at a dope ass restaurant, then we left. Went to this bar like down the street, dope ass. It was it was a cool vibe. It was an okay vibe at the bar. We get the drinks, the drinks high as shit, like six fifteen dollars for like a nigga like a shot. Like it was mm-hmm. nothing, you know what I mean? So I'm like, honestly, I don't even really like the music here and these drinks high as shit. I'm paying for this shit though. She like, let's go somewhere else. I'm like, fuck, that, like that's cool. Yeah, now, like, now that's, that's a joint. You She's getting to, a second date. Now we go right. to, now we go to Coops and you having a time of your, your life. fucking life. Yeah. We leave there. You go to a diner or something like. You know, it could just turn into a whole Listen, other joint. Like, it's you. really about the person you with. Like, we I had, had some of the. Yes. We had some of the. Yes. <clears throat> I already know what he goes. <laughs> we had some of Coops. <laughs> Listen, I'm, this is like not no cocky shit. We had some of the baddest chicks in the city in Cooper's. Having the time. And they have a time. And they, time, and they yeah. not even thinking about what's going on. Yeah. You Enjoy know, it's, yourself. It's, and they was enjoying themselves. So it was all about you, your like vibe. Rick James. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all, about, it's, all about, it's all about the vibes that you have with somebody. Yeah. And if she can communicate and y'all could talk and y'all could talk about different things other than social media shit. Right. Oh, man, it's, it's a great date. That's date. the thing. Like, having a date or being stuck out with somebody that can't hold convo. 
That's like one of the That's why you that's why on the first date you like, need to, y'all yeah. both need to drive cuz you're like I don't right. really want to get yeah. in the car with her. It's, it's nothing like if it don't work it don't work but it's like I ain't got to drive home in this miserable ass hour of drive with and the drive music. We don't home. even we don't even agree on music. Uh, you might have to take her all the way across the city. Then you got to come all the way back across the city. Like that should be nothing. I remember like, this uh, girl posted this meme. She was like, <laughs> "Now I understand why niggas why niggas um be wanting a girl to drive." So she was like, "I told my boyfriend he wasn't going to have to drive today." Because he was just complaining about it, I guess. She, so she was like, I went to pick him up. Went to take him out. We went to go out to eat. Then we went back to my house. Then we fucked, but he had to be to work early in the morning. Uh-huh. And then I had to pick, I had to drop him off at his up. car right, and then go back home to my house. She said, <laughs> I'll never talk shit again. Yo, that shit be the worst <laughs> shit. Like, yo, like, yo, we about to go here. Let's go. All right, come pick me up. But you live fucking 30 some minutes from me across the joint and where we going might be actually closer to my crib. Right. So mm-hmm. it's like instead of you coming to my crib that we leave from my crib, it's like I gotta go all the way across the city, pick you up, take you there, you fuck around, stay with me. Next morning you gotta be home. Like that shit is that's it's a, a lot. lot you know, it. like, it's a lot. You know what I mean? But that is. That's why a lot of times you want to have them meet you somewhere. Yeah. Hell yeah. Like you like, said, why would I want to drive forty minutes east and then I gotta drive thirty five minutes west. Right. And then I still got another gotta, forty minutes <laughs> back, <laughs> back right. east, yeah. right? And then I still might have to go north to go home. So oh, it's like it's a lot of drama. Yeah, yeah. He, he be like, "Nah, yeah. I'm good." Yeah, but nah. I'm, it all goes back to that that somebody you're going to date somebody who you're interested in, and then fellas, if you ask a woman out or you ask her for a number, have plans. Don't just don't just fucking try to get over the crib. Have some fun. Have, the, have some fun outside. It's, 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 it's so much stop, fun. Stop, stop just letting these random girls come to your crib, man. Yes. That's just easy way to get set up. Line you right up. Mm-hmm. And, you get and, lined up. And females, stop turn, having random niggas around your kids. Turn y'all horny down. Everybody. <laughs> male and female. Like I said. <laughs> fem- that's, no, real shit. Male no, and female. Turn your horny no, down. No, real shit. If, if, if a lot of people turn their horny down, a lot would be, of shit wouldn't be a happening. A lot of shit wouldn't be happening. Like, like I said, females, stop having, <laughs> stop having random men around your kids, and men, stop having random women in your crib. Man. It just it goes both ways. Like just just be smarter. Just turn your horny down. Exactly. Just, turn just turn your horny, horny down. down. Like I remember my pop, right? My pop didn't want me to move out move out of my parents' house when I was like eight. I was <laughs> he like, know your horny was gonna turn up. <laughs> he know my horny was up. <laughs> Dog, I'm I'm nineteen. Listen, I'm nineteen. I got a brand new seven fifty. I don't got no fucking responsibilities. I'm making all this fucking cop money. I was about to have a ball. So he like Listen, man, I know you just about to be out here wilding, but um, you ain't really got a role yet. So I'm like, all right, I ain't got a role yet. He was like, listen, man, you want to fuck all the girls in the world. That's what hotels is for. Like, <laughs> he's <laughs> like, you think you need a spot to pay every month for the rest? To, like, there's no rush to, to right. get something for life. And it's like, we laugh at it about, uh, uh, we laugh at it right now, but it's like. That's smart. That's true. Where that's is good. the rush to get good. into a mortgage or a fucking rent when that's you really don't advice. need to? It's just me. At the end of the day, if I ain't chasing no chicks, it would just be me at the end of the day. I could sleep under a fucking Yo, bed. I, 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 I could I sleep anywhere. That, I say that shit all the time. If I ain't no kids, I'll be at my mom crib. Like That's why I sleep. I, I swear to God, in, I would still be at my mom crib at 32. And you only need this much space. Like, I don't need. <laughs> but I don't understand how certain niggas with no kids be broke. Like, I don't even can't fathom that because it's like, Yo. you know, like as parents, dog, your main, our, most of our income, you know, of course, you, you, where you live in your car, your kids, it's like all like. If you don't have, that's major expenses. So if you don't have no children, that's they be like, having bad habits, no, ha- or they be knowing yes, yes. they be knowing habits, that they don't habits. have to be dependable. Yes. Like when niggas so like that, like when niggas live, when you live home, there is no pressure on you, you about keeping the lights on. So you'll right. sp- you could be twenty five years old and spend money, money up, like, spend money like a kid. Like so, fuck okay. it, I, my mama so give me could, fifty dollars till right. Next so I get week. Yeah. But see, the so thing is, when you when you have children, and you don't do that, but. A man, a man, a real man who has children, you like, I gotta, like they I, depend on like, me. Right, that's exactly I gotta I get it, like and I, got I gotta have it. On me. Right. Like, even if you about to spend this, it's like, uh, I don't know because I got this and that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I definitely feel yeah. so it like go, that. But it, so it goes, it's just you, more you, free flowing. You can just. So, so speaking of that, like, I was, you know, I was but working still, where so, I work but at. It, but it's still kind of like, if you don't have kids, you should at least be established. You should be up. Like, you should yeah. crib, cars, different. But what if it's motherfuckers with no kids and still no, you know what it, you know what it is. Like, it's just, it's like, you know, I'm the late, I'm the last, I'm the late bloomer when it comes to having kids. But kids are an extra drive for you. 
Mm-hmm. Like you know, mm-hmm. if you if you if you was just by yourself and you were just moving how you was moving, you might not have the same motivation. Yeah, you, you might not have, have it. You like, might have it, but you might not. Because you'd be like, you could be a simple guy. You could be like, I don't really need that much. Like I'm cool with this job. I'm, I don't care about no yeah. upgrade or changing my uh, uh, changing my salary, how much I make. Because you know, you live in a dream the way you wanted to live it at yeah. such a simple pace. Before that, it was like, nigga, we knew. Like, if Sticks was here, like, yo, we knew it was popping Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night. Right. We knew the spots every day of the week when we was 20, 21. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? But it goes back to, like, I was um talking to a coworker of mine when I was, I was working overnight, and then I had another job in the morning. He was like, yo, man, we make great money here. Why are you doing it? I'm like, I got kids, man. Yeah, yeah. that's what he asked me and shit. Oh, like, yeah. I, got, I got kids. Like, I was, I was, I would get off work at six and then go to my other job, sleep in the car for like a half an hour, 45 minutes, and then go to that job. You know what I mean? So I was like, I, 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 I was still, I was making I mean, great I, money. I respect that shit though, but you I was still was great doing money. what you I still had to you do, do what I do. And you did what was going to keep you to be comfortable. Like, right, you know exactly. Because like, like, the other job was paying did, every week. You without the other job probably. Right, I, yeah, but I could have. like, I'm more comfortable with this. Right, right. You know right. I mean? so, so having kids will give you that extra, yeah. extra drive to go a little bit further. But Yeah, no, I approve of that all the way. So, damn, Sticks left us. Yeah, yeah, it's Cage Day. <laughs> cage Sticks, Day. Sti- <laughs> Sticks, cage Sticks popping, so he got to get his bread. Get your so, like, I don't, I don't know, man. It's, 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 it's <laughs> Cage Day. Them it's fucking sneakers day. ain't help. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. That's the first thing I seen when I seen bro walk up. <laughs> the sneakers? Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, glittery yeah, sneakers. Glittery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Snap, man. You so, you got them? You um, uh, you feel it, John? Y'all have any yeah, uh, tips? Yeah, t- right. t- t- <laughs> 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 uh, it got, got you fucked up. A, I ain't I'm fucked a, up, but it, I, you know, it's, it's right. You got it's any, a vibe. You got any tips of the week? Well, before we go to tips, make sure y'all follow the Instagram page, um, the Office Fourteen. Follow. We also on Twitter now. Follow, like, and subscribe. The YouTube page is the Office uh, Fourteen XIV, um, and. You know, our live show coming up. Sorry, the tickets are sold out. But um, we're working on something to try to have something in December, a much bigger venue. I'm meeting with somebody on Saturday. We're going to try to go back to back on them. It's coming. Uh, we definitely going to try to have more definitely people coming, in there. Definitely coming back to back yeah. like Drake, for sure, for sure. Yeah, no, I, yo, nah, I definitely appreciate the support, yo. Them tickets flew. Like, we didn't think they was going to fly as fast as they did. That dude. was really surprising. They flew, and everybody hitting us up, you know, we not – it's and really rude. nothing we can do. Like we, the the purpose of us actually doing the tickets on Eventbrite and all that, it was because we didn't want to have to travel and go. But we drop the tickets off to here. I'm holding these joints for you. It's like yo, whoever first come first serve, yo, and no favoritism or nothing. And whoever got them, got them, yo. Some and family that, members, and yeah, like friends. Well, yeah, some of y'all seen. Tickets. I posted the joint. My mom was like, "Yo, Sean, you got a ticket for me?" No, mom. Like, <laughs> you got too, no, like, but the crazy thing is, I mean? when I posted it, people was like, "Is is she a serious? He ain't giving his mom a ticket." I said, "She is not <laughs> giving his mom a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> she mom, is is is, is because, because of COVID. No, yeah. be, right, mom, yeah. real, real shit. Because of COVID, mm-hmm. we can't have a yeah, lot of yeah, people yeah. in the venue, and right. it has to be social distancing approved." Yeah, so like a, in order to vent the the event that we're the spot that we're having that we have to abide by the rules. So they won't let us have it. Or they won't let us have it. Yeah, and we'll and, and they're, they're a business. We have a business. We have to everybody's a business. We have to cooperate with each other and help each other out. So I'm sorry. We're sorry that if you didn't get the ticket and you waited. Honestly, if you if you seen us post it and you waited, that's what we you. we posted it a week or two weeks before. That, yeah. Right. right. The thing is, though, the ne- the goal is eventually we want to get Lincoln Financial Field so all y'all can come. <laughs> yeah. So, like, when we get it to yeah. that point, then everybody can come. But until then, or, when we or the Met, we want we want we want we want to get <laughs> yeah. that's that's, the Met. that's the, Met the Met. We gotta get the like, we gotta get the Met. That's like, that's. I'm definitely that's in my tuxedo. We getting the Met though. I mean, we used to be talking about it. So you know, like. We 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 take care of people when they having stuff. So only we're, only thing we was thinking about doing was prior like a couple of days prior, just really kind of asking anybody if you don't think you're really gonna come, 
Just right. tell us, and we'll we'll try to get we'll get you your money back yeah, and let somebody get, we else can get rid of the ticket for yeah, you. Yeah, and you know what I'm saying because it's, it's a if waste of seat. A waste of seat is gonna be dumb. Yeah, if, so if you, can, if you, yeah, if you can't make, make it, it, just give us a head yeah, count yeah, a couple we, days yeah. ahead, and then we'll and we give could, it to somebody could give, else. We could give you back your money, and we'll get the ticket to somebody else. Yeah, because there's definitely people who want them. So yeah, yeah. hit yeah, us so. up on the office page or one of our pages. Yeah, you know everybody has so has different conflicts with their time or whatever. So if you once you know or you know for sure you can't come, just let us know. Some people bought money. Right back. Some people bought multiple tickets, so like some people bought three, four tickets. A lot. If of people one of the people you bought a ticket for, you know they not gonna make it. Yo, we gonna get you your bread back because there's people that want them, Joe. So. Yeah. yeah. And like we said, we appreciate the love, the support, man. The the listeners, we love y'all. We we appreciate y'all. I know I'll be looking on the Instagram page and I'll be trying to respond to every DM. I can't. I'll be trying to, yeah. and I'm sorry if I respond two days later. Or I try to comment back. I'm sorry. I I'll be trying to do it. Like I'm I'm trying to. We'll get to you. And I, I apologize if I get to you late. It's nothing against you. It's nothing against nobody. I'll be trying to get back to you. Yeah, but, but keep reposting us. Um, we definitely gonna try our best to repost you. Um, because we definitely love the love. So. And I will be posting the video. I will be posting um. Episode was that 20, 20. 27. I'll be posting episode twenty six and twenty seven on. 27 on YouTube. And then the, it's on NGTV now, though. And I, I want y'all to know if you have a Roku TV, download the NGTV channel. Like, show us some show us some love. Show show NGTV some love. It's all black owned businesses. Yeah, for it's sure. It's all black owned businesses. And it's other things on NGTV that you can view. It's, it's right. some dope content on there and some yeah, short films. And there's some people on there that's going to make it big that you're going to be like, damn, I seen them on NGTV. Like, I seen they short film. Or I seen they, I seen they video. Know. No, I'm just saying, nah, other, than like us, yeah, other than us. Yeah, other yeah, than I'm us, because I feel like, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like we should be bigger than we, but you know, I ain't, that's a whole nother yeah, story. I'm, I'm gonna be on an NGTV movie also. Y'all gonna see me on there, my first acting <laughs> debut. <laughs> I ain't tell these niggas yet. <laughs> but, which, uh, which one you on? Uh, it's a movie coming. Uh, I think they're shooting. It's called Fat Boy. Yes, I Fat seen it. Yeah. I seen the uh the uh trailer for that John. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bull yeah. hit me up about being yeah, in the movie I and shit. Oh, I actually I get killed and everything. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, we gonna beat the shit out of you when this John go off to make sure you you can you can capture the puzzled face. You know what I'm saying so. <laughs> you got draws on though, right? <laughs> <laughs> What's yeah, up, nah, man? Y'all got, we, t- y'all got t- next man. week. We can rumble next week, no, bro. You got no ball shorts and shit. I'm cool, bro. I can't be rumbling no nigga. He ain't got no draws. These ain't my fighting man, sweats. Bro. That's why they say the worst thing in the world is getting court fucking or something. You got a fight ass nigga. <laughs> Damn. Uh, yeah, that's a bad. That's a bad. That's, that's, that's horrible because the, the bull got to be a, a, a animal for trying to rumble you with no clothes. <laughs> Like don't put your draw. <laughs> if I had to run with a nigga, I court like creep. Like if I court him cheating with my lady or something, he asked nigga, you put probably, your draws on, bro. You probably so furious, you ain't think about this. No, shit. That's no. The bad. Draws on, bro. Seeing his meat gonna make me more mad, furious. But you know, <laughs> a nigga that mad that won't fight you next, he trying to kill you. Yeah. Like get the fuck out of there, bro. <laughs> King, get out of there. Oh, no, bro, you got, no. You got tip. Um, <laughs> I go first. Um. Nobody miserable can make you happy, and um, don't dick eat the butterfly if you uh, played the caterpillar. Mm. Okay. Man. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna say I might have gave this tip already, but I was thinking about it is uh, don't be afraid to be alone and focus on yourself and get yourself together. Yeah, that's a good job. Feet. Uh, my tip of the week is. He starts smiling. Because <laughs> I don't really got one. <laughs> Nigga, uh, no, every show we give tips. Right. Stay stay classy, Philadelphia. Mm. Just stay classy. You know what I'm saying? I'm Ron Burgundy. <laughs> <laughs> um, my joint is your growth frightens people to have no plans of changing. Mm. Dr. Shiz. Yeah, Talked Shiz. in. Damn. Mixtape coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, talk. <laughs> All right, Talib Kweli. <laughs> That's real shit, though, man. This uh, this Nas clocking out. This feet clocking out. This shit is clocking out. This sling clocking out. This stick's clocking out. <laughs> <laughs>